was never mean, but it's true. It's understood. Get up, had to beat those eyes. Got up, and I beat those eyes. It's understood. It was always mean versus me. It was never mean, but it's true. And now I'm good. Wake up, and I do my part. Wake up, and I do my job. Just how I should. It was always me versus me. It was never mean, but it's true. It's understood. Get up, had to beat those eyes. Got up, and I beat those eyes. It's understood. Me. It was never me for sure, and now I'm good. Wake up and I do my part. Wake up and I do my job. Just how I should. I feel it all. I feel it all. I'm feeling numb. I'm feeling numb. I lost my soul. So, so. It's on the run. run. I need a spot. I need a spot. I need some fun. I need that fun. I'm in the dark. dark. Mm. Like what's to come? It was always me versus me. It was never me versus you. Misunderstood. Get up, had to beat those eyes. Got up and I beat those eyes. Misunderstood. It was always me versus me. It was never me versus you. And now I'm good. Wake up and I do my part. Wake up and I do my job. Just how I should. It was always me versus me. It was never me versus you. Misunderstood. Get up, had to beat those eyes. Got up and I beat those eyes. Understood. It was always me versus me. It was never me versus you. And now I'm good. Wake up and I do my part. Wake up and I do my job. Just how I should. It's me versus me. It's me versus me. It's you and I. The time is now. It's do or die. I chose my path. No choosing sides. I'll take what comes. Hit for the ride. Bad guy. No more time for the bad guy. Never going back to the bad side. Need the holy water, get baptized. Yeah, yeah, I'm that guy. No more time for the bad guy. Never going back to the bad side. Need the holy water, get baptized. Yes, I'm that guy. It was always me versus me. It was never me versus you. It's understood. Get up, had to beat those eyes. Got up and I beat those eyes. It's understood. It was always me versus me. It was never me versus you. Yo, what is up, Cowboys Nation, man? It's your boy, Jay Tucky. You see, I got my dogs, man. You know what I'm saying? Kendrick Lamar said there ain't no big three, but when it comes to this Cowboys Nation stuff, man, it's a big three, man. Got my dog, DMV, and Roman in the building. What's going on, fellas? What's good with you? Man, I'm good. I'm, I'm good, man. You know what I'm saying? We ain't had to do no work. You know what I'm saying? This has been the most laziest offseason as far as the content creator. You can possibly have. You know what I'm saying? Because there ain't been nothing going on, bro. I ain't had to do no film on no free agents that we didn't sign. We ain't, ain't did nothing, man. Like, everybody's like, man, what's your thoughts on Rico? Well, I already had a Rico film session. I already clipped up. Just go watch it. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so like, we ain't got to do no work, man. But, Rome, I'm going to start with you, bro. How you feeling, bro? I'm doing good, man. Over here flying the plane as we in the air. Um, <laughs> updating the thumbnail, but now, nah, man, I'm doing great, man. Um, I've learned to live with what we had. This is our reality. So we're going to, we going to be happy. We're going to focus on the draft because that's right. something we can control. Right. Facts, <laughs> facts, facts. DMV, how about you, man? How you feeling, man? I, I see you on Twitter. You've been wilding a little bit, man. You know what I'm saying? But how you feeling overall, bro? Bro, I'm, I'm, I'm feeling real good, bro. Look, Hey, like you said, a whole bunch ain't going on right now. So it, hey, we can talk about everything right. when it comes to Twitter. Right. <laughs> yeah, man. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to sit back, chill and relax. You know what I'm saying? So I got some new things I'm working on. Y'all see the boxing thing starting to boom. Salute to everyone who joined in and, and watched me for boxing. Just got the email today, Canelo. So I'm going to be back in Vegas here in a few weeks, man. So it may, man. So you know what I'm saying? Salute to all the boxing fans, man, because we got a lot of new subs on, on my side of things. So y'all probably watching this show like, what the hell is this? You know what, I'm what, what the hell did I sign up for, man? What's going on, Tuck? Yeah, what, what is this? Cowboys. You know what I'm saying? They probably thought they were going to get some boxing talk. Not today, but we're going to get to that later, man. But listen, y'all, Cowboys Nation, we're going to talk about a few things. Not free agency, so you can scratch that off the list. <laughs> yeah, you can scratch you can scratch free agency off the list, man. There ain't gonna be no free agency tonight. Uh since so my dog Mark Holmes in the building. Um oh salute to the OG. OG Good man, hundred K, another hundred K, man. Salute to Mark Holmes, yeah, Law Nation at hundred K, man. That's no easy feat. It's hey, great for our for Cowboys it, community. I think Vach is I think Vach is on the verge of hitting hundred K. That's three hundred thousand. That's 300,000, man. So it shows the power of what we're doing, man. Salute to my guy. Independent. Independently. Independent. I-N-N-D-P-E-N. You know, you know, it was funny, right? So you, you heard about the layoffs going to NFL Network and different things are changing. Now, everybody, I know you starting on YouTube. Oh, oh y'all want to come over here with us? Let's see, what? Y'all come to the basement? All them know it ain't as easy as fire. Yeah, everybody want to come to the basement with the basement dwellers, it man. It ain't sweet over here, baby. It's I not. That's a little bit different when you got ESPN or NFL behind you. Yeah, name. man, you got you got to run everything your damn self. You know what I'm saying? And you, know, you got to have juice. Like if you ain't got the juice, bro. Like, hey, look, this ain't black and white. This ain't no article. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, 
hey, you got to be able to look in front of a camera right. and you got to be able to entertain people. It ain't right. easy. It's not easy. You know what I'm saying? Soft. It's all sold separately. Yeah, it's it's sold separately, man. A lot of people don't understand that, bro. Like, cause like right now, like two of my systems are updating, so I ain't got like all my my gadgets and gadgets to click on film. But we gonna cook anyways. Everybody else will probably be freaking out right now. You know what I'm saying? Like, no, we gonna make it work. We just gonna use the mouse, the old fashioned way, man. But getting back to these Cowboys, man. Rome, I'll start with you. Free agency? Are you just over it at this point and just moving on to the draft at the end of April, or do you still think the Cowboys could be working on something? I'll give my quote I did yesterday on my video, man. I am completely over it. I'm trying <laughs> to focus on the draft, and every time I start to focus on the draft, the Cowboys do something like sign Chima Doga, yeah. which I could have got over that. But the Cowboys need to read the room. I'm going to say it again, like I said it yesterday. If you knew you was going to sign Chima, it's not the time to roll it out when Tra- or when Stephon Diggs gets traded. Probably mm-hmm. a bad time. Might want to wait till Friday afternoon and just be like, yeah, oh, by the way, we signed somebody. The Cowboys, are, it's almost like they're trolling us on purpose at this point with free agency. So I'm trying my best to just focus on these things. Because like when I create mock drafts, although I feel like they're not going to do nothing I want to do, right. at least I can mentally feel like they're going to do it and feel good for a little bit. <laughs> yeah, exactly. You know what I'm saying? And that's what's kind of turned me into, quote unquote, the draft guy. Because this is my only chance. It's on my only opportunity that we might knock it out the park and get someone that's going to be able to change things this season. Because free agency, I, I give it up, bro. Like, People on my channel, they know Tuck don't do no free agency content. I don't do, you know what I'm saying? Even when we saw on Kendrick, so I'm like, I'm not, I'm not, I didn't do a video on Kendrick. Like, who cares? You know what I'm saying? Like, it's just, you know what I'm saying? I just, I, I just, look, I like Kendrick. I mean, but when that's all you get, <laughs> it's just, it's like, y'all ain't gonna do nothing else. That's it. That's it. You like, know what I'm saying? That's, that's it. Done. That's it. Been nope. like Kendrick's Gilly, maybe Keith Fowler. It ain't gotta be that epic. Like, right. everybody think we want it. Like, hey, I, just Joe, I just something. wanted some basic groceries. <laughs> like, <laughs> right. I, I just realized something, though, bro. Like, you got to realize that these comp picks are more important than actual free agents to them. Well, you talk about it. Like, so so why you think them comp picks are so important? I mean, are, I mean, are they, are they not in win? I don't think that they're that important, as important. But for them, right. like, to decide, hey, we don't want to go out on free agency. Like, right. Sign the Chuma Adoga lets you know that. They signed him so they didn't have to get anybody else and then have to give up a comp pick. Right. Yeah. That's why you, they signed him. Let me tell you something, DMV. And a shout out to my boy, um, Boss Cowboy, because Boss is, is right in what he's been doing lately. He's been uplifting and, and letting everybody know how good we are with undrafted free agents and late round draft picks. But sometimes you start feeling yourself too much y'all know what that's about mm-hmm. and you hit on deron bland right you, you see some flashes from tj bass you get a marquise bell and then you start thinking i don't even need big draft picks mm-hmm. give me all the lower round and the undrafted free agents because i'm smarter than everybody in the room i don't need blue chippers no more I, I could just go into the back of the draft and build my team and that's where you're going wrong because one of these years like um i don't know like last year's entire draft you're not going to hit on nothing because you think you're smarter in the room. Right. Well, here's what I was saying, because I know I know Boss brought that up when the show was like two or three weeks ago about this undrafted stuff. I'm like, the undrafted are only hitting because you bricking on your actual draft picks. You know what I'm saying? So it's not something that it's not a badge of honor that you're hitting on yeah, undrafted that, guys. Dude. We we are seeing TJ Bass play because you bricked on Matt Walesco and you bricked on Josh Ball and you possibly could have bricked on awesome Richard. Like that's why you're seeing these undrafted guys get the opportunity. You know what I'm saying? So it's nothing to I mean I get it, right? There's some undrafted guys who are good quality. And me personally, I like last year's undrafted class better than the actual drafted class. I said that when I was making my video. You know what I'm saying? But I give over shoulder pass. I give over shoulder terrible thing. Yeah, it was it was yeah, it was just like all right, so cool. So that's why I was like such in love with Isaiah Land and some of those guys. I'm like, we actually got a lot more talent after the draft was over than we actually got throughout the draft. So, you know, I, I see what boss is trying to say, man. But me personally. No fault the boss. I yeah, it. yeah, it's, it's yeah. Glass half full thinking. I'm saying the Cowboys are just, to bank on that is crazy. Right. You can't bank on that. Right. Let me ask y'all a question. What happens if we put Boise State up against Alabama? Right. State? Right. Exactly. Right. Look, I love, look, I'm HBCU all day. You know, you know <laughs> hey. DMV. No, I was an HBCU. We hey, look, we lost the Rutgers when I played fifty-six to seven. Right. Yeah, man. 
56 to 7. I know Marquise Bell look good, but you don't want to send fam you out there versus Alabama. Right. It ain't gonna go the way you want it. Right, yeah. <laughs> and and that's what that's what they don't understand. You know, and I, and I feel like sometimes, let's be honest, Cowboys Nation, we family. Sometimes we just hype some of these players up just because they got the star. You know what I'm saying? Like we be talking like some of these players. Oh, they gonna be a game changer. They the best. I mean, they all right until you, <laughs> you go get San Francisco. San Francisco gonna give a damn about none of that undrafted stuff. You know what I'm saying? Baltimore gonna give a damn about none of that undraft. Like, do you actually have peer players out there? And I That's think my for the draft pet cat, Baltimore just get it right. Yeah, they, all the time. <laughs> they, 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 don't, they don't say nothing. They don't. I mean, because think about them, right? Because they they hit on my guy uh, uh, Mitchell um, last year in the draft. The running back, he got hurt. Uh, What's his name? Uh, not Keenan Mitchell. Uh, Keaton Mitchell. Keaton Mitchell, right? Who I was high on. They got him as an undraft. They hit on that, but they don't get a whole bunch of praise for that. Minnesota don't get a whole bunch of praise for getting Ivan Pace. You know what I'm saying? It's just like, okay, we got you hit on the, but the Cowboys. We praise everything. Like, oh, you know what I'm saying? Like, we you know Hunter, Hunter Luke well, <laughs> You know who else draft well? Tuck, they get all our pet cats, but they just suck. They can't put it all the Chargers. The Chargers. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I, I got. I should. I should block the charges, y'all, on Twitter, man. Because I swear, you know, say I swear, bro. They be sitting back like, what is Tuck going to say? Oh, you, you like that, Rashawn Slate? So crazy thing. You know drafting well and taking advantage. Yeah. The Kansas City Chiefs. Yeah, and see the Kansas City Chiefs, they sit back, they be maxing and relaxing, and just they do get. it for real. Yeah, they just, they, they just, do. they just do it for real. But here's the I'm thing, y'all. I'm still mad about Carlotta. That's why I brought it up. I'm still mad. I'm mad about Felix. I mean, they, they, they I mean, they, they got Trip McDuffie. You know what I'm saying? Like so. I mean, they. I mean, Nick Bolton. So it's like, but Nick here's Bolton. a here's dog, here, here's the difference, y'all. They have GMs. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? They have GMs. They have real football people who handles everything. And Clark Hunt just goes and bees rich and comes down. So it's it's it's, it's a different philosophy, man. But you know, for the Cowboys to go, and I've been saying this on my channel, go into the grocery store hungry. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's like, bro, you starving. You might just be grabbing. So we'll we'll see what we'll see what happens when it comes to the draft. But um, Rome, I know you wanted to talk about something, man. And you know, at first, I was like, I don't know. You know, at first I wasn't really for it because I feel like with this talent pool, if you get too cute, you might swing and miss. But now since we got holes all over the damn board, I think we do need value. So go ahead, man. What was your idea? You're talking about this more, man, to spark this whole show. Hey man, I, I, y'all know. Um, first of all, full disclosure, y'all. This is the group chat. Group chat, I don't man. Know if I'm letting out too many yeah, lit. Nah, the group chat, lit, man. Like, y'all be surprised <laughs> when we talk about in the group chat. We can't let the timeline know about that. No, nah, um, people don't understand. Like, we, I, I live because you know they are they on Eastern time. So by the time I get up at four, they up like at five. So we be talking like all damn day. You know what I'm saying? It'd be like all damn day. And we was like, why don't we just do a show, bro? Like we just talked about everything. You know what I'm saying? It's just like. <laughs> <laughs> but um, what I, I like to run ideas by them and I trust and believe. You know, what I'm saying sometimes they'd be like, "That's not a good idea." Sometimes it's a good idea. But the trade back thing, the main reason I am team trade back, it's not because I feel like I'm smarter than everybody in the room. It's that like like Tuck was just saying, we need darts. We need darts. Um, and as smart as Will McClay is, he got seven choices right now presently, and we need more. If we weren't going to use free agency, which is still crazy to me. The Cowboys think they can win a basketball game just doing layups. They don't do threes or nothing else. They just, we're just going to lay the ball up and win. Right. We don't need free agency. We just we yeah. don't need that. Right. Um, somebody said, turn my volume up. My fault, y'all. I'm turn you up. Hello. I lean on the mic. <laughs> yeah, I mean, um, so here we go with this. My volume down. I'm checking it right I now. I mean, you. I mean, I hear you loud and clear. Loud and clear. It's, it's gonna be that. It's gonna be that one. I gotta person. turn that volume up. That's what happens. Is that one person like turn you up and not crank? They're they, they, wrong. Gonna, second, yeah, yeah, wrong. Gonna blow everybody's speakers. You know what I'm saying? Yo, like, bro, stop yelling. Right. Now, um, <laughs> wrong too loud. <laughs> so I'm team trade back because in light of recent events, y'all seen the Bills just traded Diggs. Right. And as frustrating as that might be for Cowboys fans, it's a good thing if you're thinking trade back. You look at what happened with Rasheed Rice, you know what I'm saying, his crazy self. The Chiefs might be thinking, ah, instead of circling him as the main receiver, maybe we need to go get another young one. And these are teams that are behind us and might want to trade up a couple slots. Now, if I know the Cowboys like I know them, they ain't brave enough to trade way into the second, which I would do to get mad capital. But they might trade back a couple spots in the first because they want that, that, that fifth year because you know how Stephen Jones thinks. Right. So I'm looking at teams that might want to trade up behind us, and those are the main two that I can think of that you might be able to coerce into, come on up, 
let me get my fourth round pick back, which is the main thing, and maybe a later pick. It's only two more picks I'm trying to get and to get to nine, possibly. Mm -hmm. And I'm willing to do it because I feel like the Bills 100% if Thomas Jr., Brian, Brian Thomas Jr., or what's his name? Yeah, Brian Thomas. Yeah, you had it. You had it. Yeah, Brian Thomas. If he's on the board, the Bills might, you know, you should already have started those discussions. Hey, hey, just to let you know we're business. If the certain receivers on the board, give us a call first. If you get to us, don't don't hesitate. You should already be doing that if you're Stephen Jones, even though he's not a real GM. Right. But my point is, you trade back, you get that fourth. I've already done it in the simulator. I don't know how realistic it is, but I don't think I'm asking for too much in the simulator. And it's giving me that fourth round, which is the main thing I'm trying to go for. And maybe an extra late round pick so we can add a linebacker or like, um, what was his name? Rashid Ali or um, um, who else? Uh, um. What's his name? Watson that you put me on to, Tuck? Blake Watson. Blake Watson. So, yeah. Yeah. So I'm just looking at things like, can we add an extra running back at the end of the draft or extra linebacker um, like the guy at Temple, McGee, and things like that. So that's why I'm team trade back. It's not because I think I'm going to master the draft. It's because the one thing I said earlier today is we want um, receivers and running backs mm-hmm. or a receiver and a running back. But in the, the, the places we want to get them, we only gonna probably be able to get one if we don't trade back. But if we trade yeah. back, we could probably get two, or uh, get both. I'm sorry. So that's yeah, that's my plan. It's very convoluted. Sorry. Nah, I agree. DMV. So let me ask you this, man. Putting the Cowboys. Y'all give Steve, me two seconds. I'm a mute. I got a call coming in. Are you good? Yeah. So DMV to you, man. Do you think that the Cowboys is how they think? Do you think that they feel like they need volume in this draft, or do you feel like they feel like they got some guys that's already in the house that's going to plug up some of these holes? I think they feel like they got some guys in the house that's going to plug up some holes. And I was actually thinking about this on the way home yesterday. To me, in Dallas, it's almost like because he's there, he's going to step up. Instead of thinking, how do I upgrade it? They're like, because we have the person, he's going to be fine. Mm-hmm. And I think that that's the, that's that's the bad way to that's a bad way to build a team. Right. I think you should be building the team to try and compete with each other. I had this conversation with Foots, uh, the King, the other day. My problem with Dallas and building is that they don't miss with the top picks, right? Like mm-hmm. they're, they're they're pretty solid with those. They're pretty safe and they're pretty good. Where they miss is the middle of the draft, and it's because they don't want to hurt feelings. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like we have this guy here, and we want him to succeed. Mm-hmm. And LVE for however many years we needed a real backer to push him. We needed somebody if they could push him off the roster right. to push him off the roster. And so, yeah, Dallas had they definitely know who they want to succeed, and they don't try and have progress stoppers there with draft picks. But in my opinion, if you can get a guy to push your guy off the roster or make this guy play better with competition, that's how you make your team stronger. Yeah, and I agree, man. And I was talking about this, you know, the other day, especially when it comes to Mozzie Smith, man. Who we roam over your cheese and talking to, man? <laughs> no, I must <laughs> no, man, I got I got somebody that just literally popped up in town and called me like three times in a row. Uh, and I'm trying to I'm like I'm trying to ignore him, but I'm like, they're gonna be like, yo, really? Yeah, you big time me. You big time. So me. I wanted to I apologize to everybody. Nah, you good, man. <laughs> well, then he was like, "Who are you smiling about?" Like, <laughs> I, was like, I was like, "Man, that, that's that." You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? You hang up, I hang up, smile. <laughs> <I'm trying> to- <laughs> yeah, all right, you try to roll yeah, my man. Choked out over there. <laughs> Uh, yeah but what, <laughs> i forgot what i was talking about um yeah i was saying like yeah dmv i agree man we need to have competition and like i said i'm going into this year's draft like last year didn't happen you know what i'm saying mozzie Not cool music mozzie cool story bro wish you the best you know come over your recovery but if i get the opportunity to draft the byron murphy and he's sitting right there it just is what it is. I mean, the same thing at the linebacker position. I mean, we saw, oh, he's working out. You know, I like Overshawn. I like what he can bring. But if you have an Edwin Cooper sitting right there, best player. Of luck. You know what it like, is what it is. Yeah, you, you just gotta you, you just gotta get the better players. And here's what I also say: them Dan Quinn's people. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So you know, we haven't heard. <laughs> and and salute to my guy Pat Rick No No C Walker. He wrote a, wrote an article about you know some of the things that Zimmer could be looking for. But we don't know what Zimmer's looking for. And if he's trying to prove himself because he's on a one year deal too, you need to let him get his ingredients. So he might sit back and say. I don't like that. You know what I'm saying? Like, that, that, that don't fit what I'm trying to do. So let's go out and let Zimmer actually get the ingredients that he needs to make this defense successful. 
yeah. don't babysit. You know what I'm saying? And here's the frustrating part, man, circling back me personally for free agency. I know Cowboys Nation. Everybody watching the show right now, everybody in the chat, we want to win now. You know what I'm saying? We want to win now. I am not trying to have another futuristic draft where it's like, hey, this guy can develop in the next two. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not doing that. I want guys at least three, at least the first three picks. I need to get guys that I sit back and say, okay, they are That's purely bare upgrades of what so, we got in that position. I got a question for you, and I, not to um, interrupt your thought. No, you good. So that's why, like, look, look. I know everybody's like, yo, we need to build this thing properly with the trenches and all this extra stuff. But you try to think of what's the biggest jolt to this team? What's going to make the biggest difference? Mm -hmm. Is it going to be the person that can hold that block for, for an extra 0.5 seconds? Mm -hmm. Or is it going to be that, that receiver? That can literally tilt a game, and I, I hate to think like that, but it is a, it is now an offensive league. Right, they are destroying the defensive possibilities because you can't tackle nobody no more. The hip drop is going to ruin football if they if they get sensitive with calling it. Facts. Um, they want that, literally. There's a report out that the NFL is mad about scoring being down. Like you know, and 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 when they, when you hear that, that lets you know that they, they want to put an emphasis. They're going to let the referees hey. Mm -hmm. You do what you need to do to make sure that the offense is scoring. Right. I don't care about the defenses. Like when you see that report, it makes me think the referees are going to be giving instructions to make sure that these points is getting scored. Mm -hmm. So as much as I want to lean super heavy defense, there's a big reason why I'm like, hey, man, go get some weapons. Right. Like a Malachi Corey, which is my new pet cat lately mm -hmm. from listening to Steve Smith. Man, he be bouncing off tackles, don't he? Yeah, right. Steve he don't, Smith he don't, he don't got me that. hyped yeah. listening to his breakdown. You know what I'm saying? And then, you know, what y'all you guys have said about him. Um, or just like, you know, Thomas Jr., of course, um, Keon Coleman. It's it's people that I think can and and, and or a, amazing running back so that can tilt the game and change the game. Mm -hmm. And it's not that I feel like offensive linemen are important. Because mm -hmm. they are. They're incredibly important, and you can't run yourself without them. But I'm going to say something that people might think is crazy because a lot of people don't like Dak Prescott. But our offensive line ain't as good as y'all think it's been. Dun, dun, dun. <laughs> and he's been able to function with it. Right. Let's not trip. I know on paper, when you look at Tyron Smith, Tyler Smith, Tyler Beatish, and you look at um, Zach Martin, Terrence Steele, you would think, well, you know, at their superpowers, our offensive line top five. But when you realize that Terrence Steele played horribly last year. He was a huge Dak, liability last year. That Dak did okay. Chumi Doga, when you look at yesterday, the thing they kept saying was, you know, Chuma played in seven games? Seven. Seven games. And Dak Prescott still led the league in scoring. My point is, as much as you want the most highly touted um um, offensive lineman out there. I hate to say it. I know y'all ain't trying to hear it. You can make it work. But what you can't make work is the fact that they like, well, we're taking CD from you. Right. Now what you gonna do? Right. Because I yeah. seen it in the playoffs. We taking CD from you. And if you force it to him, you gonna throw a pick six. So now what you gonna do? Right? But you and, know and what, you, Go ahead. My go bad. Ahead. Go ahead. Go. No, you finish. Right, you finish I'm your point. Saying, like, that's, my, that's my emphasis on we need someone I else. Like, Foot said it earlier. Shout out to Foots the King. He is like, hey, man, who, what, who else scare you on this offense? Because as much as you want to say it, you know why I scared Cooks? Who else scares you? We don't have a, a running back that scares you. And Ferg ain't quite scare you yet. We love him. But no one's circling Ferguson on their, um, you know, their, their prep for the game chart. Right. So I want somebody else that you might be like, now nah, we got to pay attention to him. That's why. That's why I want back. That's why I'm Trey Benson all day right now. Oh, no, I'm not wrong with. Hey, that's why I'm, I'm Trey. I'm just just get me. Trey. The that's what I call. That's why I've been saying weapon more than chest receipt. I want to receive. I want both. I'm, mm -hmm. I'm greedy. But yeah. <laughs> yeah, the, re the reason I say Trey is Trey can do both. He can catch the ball. Uh, he can he can run the ball. He can press the hole. Like he's the ultimate weapon. You know what I'm saying? Where they have to respect him. That helps. CD a lot. Now, if you look at these teams that do have multiple weapons that can catch the passes later on when the weather gets cold, it, right. it yeah, when the weather gets cold and uh, some of the factors factor in outside of your control, you know uh, what I'm saying? Bro, like the what passing, you do to me, dog? All right, go ahead, go ahead, keep going, keep going. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Rome was like, <laughs> he got in trouble, dog. See, look, he, 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 he didn't got him in trouble. Nah, but 
the reason that I say, did you see the clip the other day of, uh, I think it was like yesterday, of Zeke running with that line and it was just right. executed perfectly? I just think when you have a special back, right. and also Zeke was catching the ball out of the backfield that year too. Right. It just makes things, who are our receivers? Right. You know what I'm saying? Who are our receivers? It was Dez and him and Dak never really got on court, but was it Beasley? Uh, like, can't remember who our other receivers were, but Dak right. with the run game, it was, was phenomenal. That's where his play action came into play. You know what I'm saying? Then when they when they do, uh, you know what I'm saying, come down in the box, then Dak can go out there and make those throws with no pressure. You get what right. I'm saying? So I think we need both. And I'm just kind of, you know, however the draft falls to us, I'm just kind of playing devil's advocate. But I would really, really like a special back instead of trying to say, let's build the line and get an average back. Right. It hasn't worked for you. And here's my thing, you know, here's my slight pushback with that. And I, and I get what you're saying, right? Because a wide receiver, I feel like, would be a shot in the arm to this team. A running back would be a shot in the arm to this team. And also, it's the game-wrecking linebacker would be a shot in the arm to this team, right? Yes, absolutely. But, bro, we have nobody, you know what I'm saying? We have nobody at left tackle, at the left tackle position. And so, there's a huge void that's left there you know what I'm saying so if we would have kept a tyron smith or at least had some comfortability with somebody out there now i know the whole conversation piece is you know could they Great. kick tyler smith out the left tackle okay if you tell me that's going to be the case right you're going to slot in tj bass at left guard go with hoffman at center is, is what it is right i'm okay with that then you can go get your toy you know what i'm saying go get your fun stuff but man i feel like dmv i mean you studied this 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 draft just as deep as i have these tackles are hella good. You know what I'm saying? These these tackles. Are I'm not saying don't get a tackle now. Like I know I said that once before. Yeah. But now I'm like, all right, let's say your draft looks like you get one of those tackles that might be able to play guard, uh -huh. and then you get a running back in the second. I'm saying day two, running back needs to be your priority. Right. With right, the right. lineman. With right. the lineman. Right. You get what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah, and so everyone's like, where'd everybody go, man? Because Rome just flipped the camera off and it changes everything, man. You know what I'm saying? Like, Rome got to understand we're not on StreamYard, bro. We flip the camera off and changes everything, man. But we back to business. Hold on, I'm man. Back. I'm back. You know what I'm saying? We, we good, man. All right. Now we back rocking and rolling, man. Um, so, yeah, I mean, if you have a guy that you feel like can just step up, okay, cool. But like you said, Chima played seven games. So, He's going to be up in that early rotation, which scares the hell out of me, y'all. I'm, I'm scared. Well, I ain't happy about it. You know what I'm saying? I'm scared. <laughs> I'm, I don't I'm, understand how Chuma completes the line. I'm still like, I'm just like, all right, y'all, I don't know. I could have done without the signing. I, but he I'm, was cheap. Cheap. No question. It's cheap. Cheap. I want, look, I don't <laughs> not want to lie. Find him after. Who the hell was getting Chuma? I'm going to ask you this before. You, who was getting Chuma? They ha they made it a priority, man. Well, you know what I'm saying? Jonathan, say Jonathan Hakins, not a priority. You know what I'm saying? You can let him walk. Well, somebody sure. said Lyle Collins just signed to the Bills. Yeah. I think Lyle is better than him. You could have asked Lyle got, Lyle is Lyle is got than $6 million. Him. Right. Yeah. Oh, yeah. $6 well, million. He got his money. Well, the money resides, man. He went cheap. <laughs> he went come on. Cheap. The Bills ain't paying him $6 million. They broke. They, they gave him broke. six mil. They broke it in us. They they gave him oh. six mil, and and you could have slid. Got to be incentives. You could have slid Lyle back in the guard. You know what I'm saying? So here's the no, thing. My point, my point is this though. I wanted to say this. It's not that I want like people think I'm just out on linemen. I'm not stupid. Right, right, right. I'm saying people well, like when I do my mock drafts, throw them out there. They get mad like, hey man, why you ain't go guard, center, tackle, guard? Like, yeah. hey man. I ain't y'all gotta chill. So yeah, <laughs> we can get a lineman the first drop, the right. first pick. But I'm not going tackle center <laughs> guard and then, guard and then de tackle. <laughs> like I'm sorry, right? We, we only gotta, need one. We only need one, in my opinion, one, well, we'll one good, right? Good, good lineman, and right. then you're gonna have to make it work. So somebody gonna be playing, whether it's Brock or TJ Bass or right. Tyler Smith bumping or whatever they end up coming coming up with. Y'all gotta y'all gotta wrap your mind around one of them guys that you swear you're not gonna get on the field because we're right. not going to go out there and get Graham Barton and then get um um Van Pran or or Frazier. Right. We're not getting all these linemen. Yeah, like somebody yeah. else getting them. Yeah, stockpiling linemen, man. Let's get, <laughs> let's get them all. Get a whole new offensive line. Pick you'll say first, second, third round. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, man, I I get Cowboys Nation, but see, here's the thing, right? A lot of Cowboys fans because they don't tune into our show. You would know that a lot of these offensive linemen has versatility. So Grant Barton can be a guard and a center. 
You know what I'm saying? He can play a little bit of both. You know what I'm saying? You can go get Tanner Bordellini. You can play you know, guard, center, right guard. Like So you get people that has flexibility, and Mike McCarthy likes that. You know what I'm saying? So you're not going to get just a left tackle. You're not just going to get a left guard and then get like, no, 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 no. That's and I want people to realize there's quality linemen throughout the draft. Right. Well, like, well I mean, well, well, think about it right now. What are people talking about? You should kick Tyler Smith out the left tackle and plug in TJ Bass, who's an undrafted guy. <laughs> he didn't get his name called. You know what I'm saying? So it's like you can yeah. get quality guys. And here's what I'm saying. Here's where I'm at. I don't think the Cowboys have the intention to kick Tyler Smith out the left tackle. That's not their True. intention unless they have to. Unless they swipe out in this draft and they airball again, then I think he might get kicked out the left tackle. But I don't think that's their, their original intent. But – I will say this: It's easier to replace a left guard than replace a left tackle. That's what you're saying. It's easier, especially with this year's class. You can get some guys in on day three. And don't put somebody out there like Guyton that's going to struggle more than the guy you could have bumped out there. Right, Guyton ain't no left tackle. Right, he's a right tackle that has minimum left tackle experience. Now he's athletic, but like I just, I'm just not a fan of Tyler Guyton. Like that. That's my point. That's, no, I know. That's yeah, why I do it. Just, I'm just <laughs> like, <laughs> if we were looking for a right tackle, yeah. If you're, if you're talking about. Now, now here's the thing, right? Now, if you're going futuristic and you're possibly trying to get out that Terrence Steele contract, okay, then some of these, you know what I'm saying, then that some of that makes some sense. But nah, man, not not with Tyler Guyton. I'm just that would be my LeBron, you know, Jeff. I'm getting up walking about the draft. You know what I'm hey, hey, remember this though. I, I got I gotta bring this up now that you you brought up Terrence Steele's name. I don't know if you remember last year, but they flirted with the idea of putting him at a guard. What if they're looking at all these right tackles to possibly think about doing that? Do we got enough power to be a guard? I think so. I think so. But they were they were <laughs> flirting with the idea. Remember, they said it last year. Mm-hmm. That's they a good said point. It last year, he he uh is he had a bad year or whatever. How we know he's not working left guard right now? They got Tyler Smith at tackle. And then they get one of these right tackles in here. That's why they're looking at Fuaga so you know, much. I, I know they yeah. Because in that scenario, they still got bumped Tyler Smith out. Which, in now, that case, like if, you, if you tell me that and I get one of these top right tackles, you tell me it's it's Mims or you tell me it's it's Fuaga if he falls or, you know, a Guyton. Don't you, do you feel a little bit more comfortable with that? It's one person uh, I'm, I'm moving everybody for and it's Fuaga. If Fuaga fall. Yeah, to least, yeah, every everybody move. You know what I'm saying? I'm everybody, 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 everybody yeah, move. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, Zach move Martin, go ass over the center or something. Like move around. Uh, but yeah, but for me, I I'm I'm not a fan of Mims. I just feel like he's just too green. He's too of a, too much of a project. I feel like he's going to take him some time to grow. Right? If you're in win now mode, I'm just not. You know what I'm saying? But Mims is just a big. He's just a big beast. You know what I'm saying? Taller Guyton, I'm kind of and on. Uh, you know, to least, yeah, absolutely. Uh, King Morgan. Oh yeah, Morgan's my dog. You know what I'm saying? Trade back. But see, yeah. this is what I hate. And sorry. Okay, okay. One hundred three four five the fan or whatever. You know we 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 got a love hate relationship with them. But anyway, them them gentlemen <laughs> over guys. there when they say <laughs> stuff, I know they get talking points because they got a so called they got they got belt over there mm-hmm. an insider, and you got Broadus who talks to people and in the star. Mm-hmm. So when I hear talking points on that show, that's the main reason why I listen because I know someone's floated that to them and they're trying to you know. Mm-hmm. Order to the audience. Mm-hmm. So when I've been hearing them talk about trade back so much, it makes me raise my eyebrows. Like they thinking about it. Mm-hmm. But when they brought up Morgan the other day, um, they was talking about making him a guard, and I was like, hold on, seriously? And it's all because of this this this, this wingspan situation where apparently his hand is like it's like a half inch, right? Or something stupid, right? <laughs> and they're saying he can't be a tackle. Why? But I would rather put him at left tackle and keep. <laughs> Right and keep Tyler at left guard. Again, I'm not building the roster though. You know what I'm saying? Right. So, because you could get look, I feel like this. If you got, let's just stay hypothetical. Team trade back. We got a trade back. We got we got some capital. We pick up Morgan, right? Mm-hmm. Not the sexiest pick, but somebody that can play. Apparently, that's, that's sexy what I've been. I'm not. I'm not been, I, I, I know. I've been, I've been, I, 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 I was talking about. I was talking about Jordan Morgan during the season. <laughs> I think. I think I dropped this tweet. Like, nah, you've been. That's why. Yeah, I, I, I brought it up. yeah. I'll be. Yeah. I mean, you get Morgan, Tyler Smith, and then you say, okay, look, Bass or 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 Brock, or we we gonna obviously draft and maybe another center later in the draft. Right. Y'all battle it out to the death. One of y'all can become the center. I feel like we'll be more set. 
You know what I'm saying? In that situation, I don't understand why that would be a problem. Yeah, that's why I think Grant Barton is like I put a video out the other day. I think Grant Barton's going to be the pick because I think. Grant Barton can play three positions. I don't think. I know I don't you think, don't like him, but no, I'm saying, I, I, well, I, no, 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 no. I like I like Grant. I love I love Grant. You know what I'm saying? I don't no, think. I, mean, like, I don't think Graham's yeah. there at 24. That's I don't, not, like. I hate to be the not gonna be there guy. Yeah, he's not. But he there. rolls his stock. It's yeah. It's his his stock is. Who, who failed him? Bears or something? Didn't he get worked out by the Bears? Like I was like, yeah, oh, yeah. Graham is Graham is gone. You know what I'm saying? Graham, I, I would be shocked at Graham. Well, then that's good because then somebody fell. Then, but see, he, but, but see, but here's my concern with that DMV. I think the people that's going to fall is going to be the right tackles. You see what I'm saying? So I think, I think they're going to get pushed back. There could be a situation where you get JPJ get pushed back. I'm thinking there's something with this medicals that I'm hearing from a lot of scouts. So JPJ could get pushed back. Oh, back. How about him? I love I'll him. Take him. I, lo- I, I, I have mixed feelings about him. I love his this year. But when I look and I looked at the number of snaps, you know what I'm saying? He had one full year at Right. And then you look and then other years they 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 didn't play him, but they had him at defensive tackle and stuff like that. You know what right. I'm saying? So that kind of raises a little bit of a red flag, but last year's tape was 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 good enough for me. I'm just saying, all right, I I, I don't know how they're thinking. I'm just, I just have to throw these things out there for you guys and, and for the Not audience so that they know. Right. You know what I'm saying? But, yeah. So, it's, but since it's like you said, the medicals tuck mm-hmm. and things like that, like he's like it's like him and Barton traded places with with stock. Yeah, he's fell a little bit. Barton's rose a little bit. I'm saying like you know I'm saying team I'm team trade back. Me so, too, by the way. Right now, it's between Morgan, JPJ, for me. I, I don't think Frazier's in the in the equation. If we trade back into the late 20s, early 30s, I feel like we can get one of those guys and then we can we can, we can proceed with getting these weapons. That's my point. Mm-hmm. And whether you go with the center and bump Tyler out or you go with Morgan and you keep Tyler where he at and you figure something else out, my thing is you get one of those, one of those hogs in there. And then that's where you proceed. Like these people that think we're gonna go back to back line, they gotta line, let that go. Line, 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 nah, hell no, hell no. Nah. It's too, it's too much, bro. Like too much. It's too much. I, I, and if Graham goes, that might mean that there's a run on tackles, though, Tuck. So that's why, yeah. Mean, so it so, might fall a little bit. You yeah. Know? So because I you know what I think might take a tackle too. That might take Guyton, which I love because they, they 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 super trench heavy. Our our our, our uh, annoying brothers in the in the northeast. The Eagles, because I saw a um a little pre-draft thing where yeah, Guyton is Lane. from yep. Oklahoma, and this whole he got a connection with um Lane Johnson. Uh, I'm like, cool, go ahead, take him off my hands. Y'all take him. Because <laughs> here's how I'm, here's how I'm gauging it, right? And of course, you know what I'm saying. But I feel like Coach Joe, Joe Alt's going to be the first left tackle off the board. You know what I'm saying? No question. Then you're going to have um, what's his name uh, out of BYU? A lot. Uh, this kid's name. Fashanu out of BYU. So he's probably oh, going to have him him. have him go. So then here comes the conversations, right? Then you have the Graham Bartons, you have the Troy Fatanos sitting right there. Oh, you know what I'm saying? It, it, in his preference. It yeah, it's, it's, your, it's, it's, it's we're going to start to get I've been called yeah. a Fatano. Yeah, Fatano. You know what I'm saying? We, we butchered him there. You know what I'm saying? So then it's like, okay, where does it go? Or do you go and get a Mims? And talk, like, so it's like that big cluster and kind of see how that falls. You know what I'm right saying? Time. Somebody get Mims, dog. I think Mims going to go for I don't know why. I think, I think y'all think it's Graham. I think it's Mims. I, I don't want um, none of them right tackles. I'm with y'all. They can, they can. Yeah, and so uh, so then you're gonna have to lease. You know what I'm saying? So you're gonna have that huge cluster, but one of them's gonna oh. get one of them's gonna get pushed back. And my biggest fear is the ones that we don't. I'm just not a fan of. So I'm gonna get pushed back. I can see Tyler Guyton getting pushed back. Who really needs the center? That's why I'm gonna look up. A whole bunch of teams. It's yeah. like teams. I wrote it down in my notebook. I don't even know where the hell my notebook is. So you think it's over here um, somewhere? Jackson Powers goes maybe earlier than I think. Somebody like can fall. If it's the, too many. Look, if, if the it, medicals check like out, like seven quarterbacks and like four tackles, it's oh, he didn't hit his knee. No, nah, yeah, nah, 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 that's a that's a boxing cramp, man. You don't say it cramped up. Hell oh, straight. you gotta drink that water. Uh, yeah, man, get the <laughs> time out, bro. Um, hey, not what about what like, told me. Somebody you gotta fall. I I know. Um, we just said Barton won't be there, but I just think that you know I'm not saying that there's not. You shouldn't take like good trench play in the consideration i'm right. just saying because of our unique place where we're at in the draft that one of them weapons gonna fall to us yeah and we need to get one right <laughs> right and, and, and that's that's the thing the wide receiver class is deep 
right? So you're going to have the wide receiver classes deep. The the tackle classes is it deep, but it, it's it's deeper than it was last year. So you can just get quality guys later. You know what I'm saying? You might be able to get a Jordan Morgan at the end of the, you know what I'm saying in the first round or so. So it's like, okay, but there's a lot of gonna be a lot of quality's gonna get pushed back. You know what I'm saying? So that's gonna be the hard part. Cause you could be sitting there in the draft and it's like you have Brian Thomas there. You know what I'm saying? I don't, I don't think the Texas guys, the wide receiver, is going to be there. But you could have a Keon Coleman sitting there. Then you could have a Jordan Morgan. You, know, you could possibly have a Troy Fatano while sitting Johnny there. Mitchell probably going to be there. Oh, you- Let me ask y'all a question about Jordan Morgan because I'm looking at visits and stuff like that. Like, wh- have they shown – like, where did they show interest in Jordan Morgan? Like, they, where did they, 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 they did a private workout. Okay. Yeah, I, I, yeah I'm, just, I'm I'm trying to track everything and I'm just yeah. making sure like Yeah, he's not he's not a 30 visit as He try to keep the, that one low. That's Yeah, so I'm saying I I I, I, I can see it, you know what I'm saying? That that's a like you see your bowl, right? You see your bowl, so that's that's one. So I got a criteria yeah, right now going. So like I got this 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 tracker and I'm going to send it to either one of y'all where I'm tracking the combine formal, the informal, oh, yeah, I got uh, it. the 30 visit, senior bowl, uh, Dallas Day and Pro Day. Mm-hmm. So Good I got a, I got a big list. I got a hot list, a medium list, and a low list. That way I don't miss right. anybody that they had a visit with or an interaction with. Yeah, because so that's the key. Because normally if they have a form with the combine and he's a 30 visit, circle him. And as of right now, as far as the offensive line, Talese is that guy. He's the one they had a formal with the combine, and he's a 30 visit as of right now. So I was circling yeah, it. So was, so Grant Barton was as well, and uh, Troy Fatanu was as well. Both Troy of them. Fitano, right. I oh, mean, so I would, of those three, one of them is going to fall, bro. All right, look, if, if Troy fell, like like I said, there's certain people I'm talking a lot of trash about line and weapons. I forgot about Troy. I will take Troy. I will oh, take yeah. Waga, and I will take I – would, I wouldn't be mad at Barton either. These are people I know they're going to they're gonna play well. But other than that, I want to trade back and get some capital. If one of those are on the board, just you you you, you find a way to uh, another way to get capital. You're right. You know what I'm saying? Um, but if um if Troy, yeah, if Troy's there, if um Barton is there and Fuago, that's that's really a pipe dream. It, it, it's a pipe. Uh, it's, I mean, hey, it, it's, it's hey a I, I don't need to see the rest of the draft. We get for what I'm, I'm, I'm that. Right, we're good. I love that kid. We're good. I love yeah, that he, kid. Yeah, he, he's, he's, he's filthy, man. Even Graham Barton. Like, like, go watch Graham Barton. I think I did Graham Barton versus Jared Verse when he played Florida State. You know what I'm saying? And, he got a little bit of a mean streak to him. And because the only thing that's holding Graham back, like Graham would probably be like top ten if he had the size to play left tackle. You know what I'm saying? That's the only thing that's kind of holding him back. So it's like. Man, he's talented. You know what I'm saying? I know that boss kind of talked about him at center, even though he had minimal experience. His IQ was good enough he can play it. You know what I'm saying? His IQ is good enough. I mean, he's he's a phenomenal guard. Like, Graham yeah, Bart's one of those guys. I'll out there. I'll roll out. Barton. Yeah. I, I, roll out there. I could tell you this. My, the reason I, I had this question, I was like, why they move him from center? And I had to go back and watch 2020 film. I saw Miami. Their line was getting destroyed everywhere mm-hmm, else dude. but at center. They had to move him to left tackle because oh. I mean it's Duke. Like how, right. <laughs> like right. how got, many linemen they got coming in the Duke, and what was bro? The, and what was the Duke had a quarterback that was pretty good. So I watched him when he played Kansas. Uh, I forgot his name, but yeah, man, it wasn't Daniel Jones? <laughs> no, I wasn't Daniel Jones. It was like it was last year when Kansas played Duke. I think that's when I first came across. Not not the year before, you know what I'm saying? But yeah, man, Grant Graham is phenomenal, bro. But it's just like I don't know. Like I said, there's going to be quality pushed back. Here is the biggest thing. I think Rome, you posted this on Twitter, right? The first three rounds, since we don't have a fourth, yeah, we salute to Trey Lance. I feel, <laughs> like we, <laughs> you know what I'm I feel like we we got a hit. You know what I'm saying? We got to like on those first three rounds got to be a hit because it falls off a cliff. You know what I'm saying? Getting from that third pick all the way until day three and that fifth pick, if they're not going to be aggressive and move up, it I falls think, off a cliff. There's gems there. We just don't got no capital. I mean, yeah. I mean, we. We could really if and here's the crazy part, right? Y'all remember we doing all these mock drafts the past two years. We had picks on picks on picks on top of picks. You know what I'm saying? It if we if we had volume in this year's draft, uh yeah, Riley Leonard, man. Salute to my guy. Yeah, Riley Leonard. Um <laughs> so if, if you had volume in this year's draft, you can clean up. So that's why I've been doing some of these mocks when I've been, you know what I'm saying, and trying to fleece the Chiefs. I'm trying uh, to be realistic, because at one point I was just grabbing anybody's pick. 
now that we're getting closer. Now I'm getting the cheese, man. I'm, I'm getting the cheese. No, I'm like, I think the Chiefs will, will be willing to, too. I'm saying, listen, man. You I know, want, how I know, bad y'all want Brian Thomas Jr.? Nah, I'll how say, bad I, y'all want him? If I'm Jerry Jones, I'm like, listen, man. I can have this Rasheed Rice thing done for y'all tomorrow. I can get this all erased. I'm just yeah. going to call you with a quick little favor. You know what I'm saying? Uh, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I can reach out. Yo, I didn't even That's think about real. that, bro. Oh yeah, yeah. you know what I'm saying? You know, you know, Jerry. Jerry Jerry had Rasheed Rice, that whole thing cleaned up tomorrow. That's how you do it. Hey, look, I just I need can clean this up. No one <laughs> talk me that that the trade back. Give me my fourth back. <laughs> right. We ain't gotta talk no more. <laughs> right. We ain't gotta talk no more. You know what I'm saying? We ain't gotta talk no more. Actually, let me get let me get that third up off the too. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> look, and you know what? They'd be like, we want to come yeah. with him. All right, Jerry. Oh, well, oh, oh, oh man, I forgot. Oh, damn. Yeah, I'll weapons, make, look, yeah, make weapons that, in the car. That. Yeah, let me get that there. I'll that. make that Dallas <laughs> Chiefs thing go away too. I'll make that Dallas yeah. Chiefs. Hey, thing and the Chiefs, the Chiefs will mess around the twenty four. We think they want a receiver, and they get another. They get a damn edge again. Right, they get another right. edge or 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 three tech that right. fell. Like, like, Latu, <laughs> Latu sitting there. Right. And we gonna be like, yeah. All right, man. Y'all wasn't supposed to grab that. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah. yeah. Y'all supposed to grab a receiver, bro. Like, what y'all doing? Yeah. So, so we said we was only going for an hour. We got like six minutes left. Y'all want to do the mock draft, man? You know what I'm well, saying? I owe, yeah, y'all, I owe y'all at least 10 minutes. That's all, my all right, cool. All right, let's cool, man. So we go ahead and get this mock draft popping, man. And uh, we got a trade because we've been talking about trades all day. But like, DMV, while I'm getting this set up, I know you want to talk about running back Rome and then also DMV. So, who are some running backs that y'all can kind of think of? That maybe if you don't get them in the first, second, or third round, that you can turn around and get them in the third. Well, yeah, I'm, a, bro. I'm, I'm gonna let you know. I only know the names you told me, Tuck. Okay, you know that's good enough. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> good enough, man. Then you're in the right spot. You know what I'm saying? Because uh, hey, hey, well, look, I took notes. Um, <laughs> old man Ray Davis. Yeah, old man uh, Ray. <laughs> I think you know what's funny. I think um, of all of the backs that might slide a little bit. I think Braylon Allen might. I don't. I haven't really heard nothing. Well, he love him though. Well, Dallas loves yeah, him he, though. So he's another one, formal and also a thirty visit. The thing about Braylon Allen, yeah, he, he had hot, he, he my hot. He hasn't te- he didn't test. He didn't do anything. So he has a round of forty. He ain't did nothing. You know what I'm saying? Is he slow? I mean, I think they still they run a full four. But if you run a full four and you that big, there's no way you're not showing it off. Right now, they, if they say like his hand be messed up or something, I can understand that. But well, see, we Dallas ain't like that though. DMV Dallas will say, hey, 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 look, don't even run. <laughs> right. Don't even we got you. Don't even like they do stuff like that. <laughs> right. Yeah, I, I I mean, like I said, that's that's the thing with Braylon Allen. He hasn't tested because he didn't he didn't run or anything. So you don't know. But at the end of the day, he's 20 years old. You know what I'm saying? He has low mileage on him. He's probably one of the biggest running backs in that's this. About draft. Quorum. Quorum yeah. got oh NFL career on his back. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> that's, that's the same thing with Ray Davis. You know what I'm saying? Like Ray Davis got <laughs> yeah, so. Huh? If he felt if he's in the fourth round right there and we ain't got Corum? a back, how happy are y'all? Oh yeah, I'll you got Blake Corum. Corum? Oh yeah, yeah. oh yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. Like no, I'm not no not funny. Corum's the best back on our roster now. I don't care. Like I'll I'll learn to like whatever. Yeah, oh yeah, I'll take I'll take Corum. You know what I'm saying? If you get a, if you trade and get a fourth round pick and take Blake Corum. You I'm might get three years out of him with his body breakdown, but you go. Hey, <laughs> I'm just trying to win next year, bro. You know what I'm saying? We break down, you know what I'm saying? Like, I'm we'll going all in right there. All right, y'all. So we about you to- should keep backs coming. You should keep backs on your roster churning anyway. Right. I don't know why. Like, look, like remember I talked about, I was like, hey, we, we try not to hurt feelings. Right. Try to hurt, not hurt Zeke's feelings. Get another damn back in here. What's wrong with y'all? Right. Well, you're running you back matter sure that, bro. Yeah, right, right, right. Matter. Where is that? Hey, oh, I'm gonna tell my, damn. <laughs> <laughs> I just did laundry. I just did laundry. Just damn, laundry. you know, I'm a father out here. Yeah, I just did laundry. But hey, running backs matter, baby. Running right. backs matter. Yeah, they do. They do, man. All right, so we are gonna go ahead and get into this mock draft. Uh, we gonna trade back. You know what I'm saying? Kind of showcase what we could possibly do. I think they should do. I think everyone agrees in the chat that we should possibly consider trading back. Get more oh, value, it's on uh, the screen. huh? I can't even see the joint. Ah, because I'm only sharing on the actual, on the actual. Oh, all right, all right. Yeah, uh, uh, yeah. yeah. Uh, I, I tell you what, y'all yeah, look. Yeah. So, um, now I'll pull it up on my phone. I want to be able to assess what's on the screen. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> that's, yeah, yeah. That's, 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 that's a great point, bro. Yeah, I got it up anyway. What am I talking about? Yeah, there you go. So, um, so who are we trading back with, man? Y'all want to trade with Kansas City? Y'all want to trade with Buffalo? Who are we trading back? So we can see you saying Fran would be nice. No. <laughs> Let me tell you something. Buffalo. 
I don't know if Buffalo would, would trade up because of the money situation, but we might be able to get more out of Buffalo because they broke. Mm. You, you mm. get what I'm saying? We might be able to get more out of Buffalo. So I would kind of pick Buffalo here because what's Buffalo going to pick that's going to hurt us? Like the Chiefs getting a pass rusher will crush us. Buffalo, their roster, like they're going to have to make some tough decisions. I would make the deal with Buffalo. With That's Buffalo. the one I'm. A, I'm a, I think I'm. I'm a roll. With. All right. So everyone in the chat saying Buffalo too. All right. So we gonna we gonna hit Buffalo on the phone. I mean, because they did jump us for <laughs> Don Kincaid last year. You know what I'm saying? So they kind of owe. They need a receiver. So, Maybe. Yeah, they do need a receiver. They need one. So we are gonna go back to 28, and then what we gonna get 60 from them? Or y'all gonna get? Uh, I don't think you get 60. I'm gonna get six thousand. <laughs> uh, so whenever, one, whenever I try to get sixty, it'd be like zero percent. One one twenty eight. <laughs> one twenty eight. So what? That's a third. Is that a fourth or third? I what think that's a fourth. Four, four, four. So we all right. So we trade we back with them. Back. We get, we get a four, saying. and then we good. No, nah, no. Nah, see if you can get a, a late pick. I always try to get like two twenty. Uh, they so got next year, or next year well, joint. Well, yeah. They got they got two hundred from us. Let's see if we can get two oh four. They got eleven picks though. Yeah, let me see if we can get 204. You know what I'm saying? They give up two. You know what I'm saying? So they got 204. All right. So we got, so we're going to trade back to Buffalo at 28. We're going to try to get their 28th pick, 128, and then 204. Okay. That's what I, I, I think we can get that. All right. Yeah, I'm, I'm okay. Like, with that. Y'all think this? I think we can really get that in real yeah, life. We got, that's, we, that's, we got yeah, it. We got it. Boom. I, I, I think, that's, I think that's, that's solid. We get our fourth back. And and we get a, a wide receiver and a running back. You know yes. what I'm saying? Some late depth, no question. All right, so here we go. We got the draft. Let's cook, man. Let's cook. Let's right, see let's what we got. Get it. Let's get it. Ooh, Washington took drink May. Hallelujah. All right, so we're sitting here. We got Jerzon Newton, defensive tackle, Kool Aid McKinstry, cornerback at Alabama, JPJ out of Oregon, Tyler Newbin. I mean, I'm, I'm a fan, but. Uh, Peyton Wilson, Tyler Guyton, Adani Mitchell sitting there. So there's a fast wide receiver for y'all. Zach Frazier, Lad McConkey, TJ Tampa. And then they we're starting to fade a little bit. So, you know what I'm saying? Um, DMV, I'll kick it over I, to you first. What's, what's your thoughts, man? I'll, I'll, so, so we going I'm gonna let, I'm gonna let DMV is going to be Mike McCarthy. He's going to be in charge of the offense. Rome, you're going to be Zimmer. You're going to be in charge of the defense. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to sit okay. back. Yeah, so we got to we got to sell something. We got to sell something to you right now. Yeah, yeah. So I'm, I'm right. gonna be Will McClay. You know what I'm saying? So, so go ahead, DMV. Who would be your pick? Okay, so I'm looking at the picks, right? And I know that we can go defensive line here, but we're trying to bolster the run game, okay. right? We we want to be able to. We lost our center, mm-hmm. um, and we have a need that is staring right in our face right now with the best center in the draft. Well, I think Jackson pick. Powers Johnson right now is the pick because I, not only does it help bolster our run game, but it also helps our defense as well. Okay. Good, good case. Good case. Rome, how about I'm you? With it. Oh. <laughs> All right, Zimmer. <laughs> I'm not, I'm not <laughs> look at Zimmer, man. Hey, bro, I just got here, bro. You know what I'm saying? Nah, no, <laughs> I just got here and. I um, might not be here run, next year, man. No, do what y'all got to do. Run game helped me out. Run right. game helped me out. So, yeah. Um, both of that line, and I, I, you not, you're not gonna force as much as I want. Um, like Peyton Wilson right there, right? I do feel like there's some value later in the draft. Peyton Wilson is 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 amazing, mm-hmm. but right now, if I know the Cowboys, like I know them, they whispered to Zimmer, "Hey, we ain't give up on Demon Clark yet." So just right. let you know, right? Like, yeah, yeah. <laughs> like so we're not we're not going to get Peyton Wilson this early, right? Like we're just not, right? You know what I'm saying? Jackson so, Howard Johnson was a 30 visit. Plus, he was a, he, we saw him at the Senior Bowl, mm-hmm. so we're very familiar with his work. Yeah, as long as you ain't going to tackle, don't go yeah. get guidance. We we in we in a building. So yeah, I would I would I would agree with Jackson Powers. Now here's me. Here's me putting on my my Will McClay, my Trill McClay hat. Uh, yeah, we yeah, so it. It, my, my Trill <laughs> McClay hat. If it's me, and like DMV said earlier, and I really want to get a shot in the arm to this team, then 
Tyler Newbin would be my shot in the arm. You know what I'm saying? Oh, but he's a safety. You know what I'm saying? But that, but that's your Kyle Hamilton. That's your game record. That's your oh, he like that. Yo, he, yeah, he's like that. He's one of those. About to have me as soon as I you get over here. See, that's yeah. what happened. Yeah, I, I, I'll, I'll, I'll be looking at film before I go to sleep. Yeah, Tyler Newbin out of Minnesota. He's one of those ones. Like you know what I'm saying? So he's he's a wrecking machine, bro. Like he's. But who we sitting down? I know, I know, and, and that's the thing. I know we got Where safety. We sitting down. But whoever I'm saying, who, who, whoever got gets set. You know what I'm saying? You make a room. You know what I'm saying? So for so if you he's there, everybody. Right, yeah, I don't give a damn. You know what I'm saying? I, I like our safety room, but they'll have to figure it out. You know what I'm saying? So that would Wanye be the, like why you watching this like Yeah, bro. Really Listen to my dog Wanye, man. I, I like Wanye, you know what I'm saying? Right. I'm not yeah. necessarily saying it's him. Yeah, I'm yeah. Not saying, him. Right, he can I play. Be, hey be man, relieved. if Donald got a sit, yeah, got a sit. Whoever gets sat down. <laughs> right. Hey, somebody getting sat. Right. Y'all fight it out for that other spot. Yeah, see how I'm the looking at it later though. All right, yeah, I'm gonna exit. <laughs> See, I, I haven't did no film breakdowns on any safeties because I know we're not drafting one, but yeah, he's one, not even showing interest for real. Yeah, but he's one of those ones. But he's one of those ones. So the pick would be Jackson Powers Johnson out of the University of Oregon. Back and we got Jackson Powers. Like, come on. Let's get it. I'm I, hey, look, I'm bank head bouncing on that. I'm celebrating. All right. Yeah. And we got Jackson. Woo wee. This is where this is when Will McClay going to do weather man right now. This is where Will McClay. This is when Will McClay is going to have to override what's going on, man. Because we're sitting here, you got Chris Braswell, Edge, you got Javon Bullard, safety, Ricky Purcell. A lot of people like him. I like him too. Ruko Moro, but Keon Coleman sitting right there. <laughs> you got Keon Coleman sitting right there. <laughs> you got Keon Coleman sitting right there. You got Jonathan Brooks. You got Kyron. I keep butchering his last name. Uh, then you also got Marshawn Nealon, and you also got Jalen Polk. You know what I'm saying? So my guy Travis just said I've done some scouting on Noob and he's insane. Yeah, bro, he's 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 one. Uh, yeah, so see y'all get me hype. Hear me out. I I, I got to make a case for my guy Jonathan Brooks. Okay, I have to make a case. All right, so make the Jonathan Brooks case, Mike McCarthy. Okay, we absolutely love this kid. We know everything about this kid. We we sat with him at the combine. We sat with him at a thirty visit. We had him for a local visit. We've been checking in. Everything checks out for us. Think about that knee. Yeah, and we just got our fourth round pick back, and we got some more. So we can get him right now, get him back later as well. But this right here is going to be our Zeke. We know everything about him. Now, Coach, he had the injury late November. Do That's you what think I was going to say. Gonna be ready? Is he going to be ready? We're Dallas, baby. This is what we <laughs> do. <laughs> It is what we do. Yeah. Second round, we get yeah. real dicey. Yeah, we did the surgery, man. I don't, I'm gonna see what Zim are talking about. Zim, what, what, yeah. you, what you talking oh, about? Talk, man. I'm look, man. I ain't gonna lie. I'm looking at Rook right now. He looking at me. And <laughs> <laughs> you stare each other's eyes. Yeah, you know I'm, I'm, I'm looking at you know the. Ooh, I, oh, I oh, fact, ooh, hold on. I don't know if we draft unless we get like lot to. I mean, we we not benching D Law. Right, and we're not we're not moving um, Micah. We just not. Let's I'm just be honest. So edge would I don't think we would go for that high up of an edge. I don't think because I want instant impact. Somebody I don't want rotational. I want somebody that's gonna be playing. Mm-hmm. Um, but we oh, do Edwin Cooper there, bro. That's what, I was, that's what I'm saying. Edwin Cooper's <laughs> oh, here shit. too. Oh, I just had to make him. the case for Jonathan Brooks because I'm on the offense. But yeah, all right, hey. you got you to <laughs> split because it's Cooper's there. We love Cooper. We know everything about him too. We know everything about him. We know everything so, about him. We do need a linebacker Cooper, position. He's, he's, he's everything we want in the um, linebacker. He's everything we want. It's everything. Awesome. Look, look, cause look, but then it's, it's Cooper and Kendricks. Yeah, man. But it's we Cooper, and whoever the hell we sit. <laughs> Somebody getting set. But how you feel um, about? How you feel about? Um, I'm trying to be. Look, when I do my. I be passing Cooper up when I do my all, full full disclosure, because I be thinking I can get linebackers later in the draft. You can't get one like that. What we need, but, but but he did a combine formal and the thirty visit. Right. I think I think I think plus Kendrick's What's the bigger work. need though? But, but Junior Junior Colson did combine thirty visit and pro day, so they probably in between those two because they really like both of them and well, both of them are sitting right so, there. You, so, you, when, you're in the, when you're in the war room, you look at your room. Look at your linebacker room. Look at your running back room. But see, here's why Here's why me personally, Will McClay, I'm not pressing on running back no more because we got that extra pick and I know what's going to be there now. 
you know what's gonna be there? Yeah. Now we got that Y'all fourth back. Cooper? Now that we got fourth back, I can rest on running back. You know what I'm saying? Because I feel like we can go get our running back either the next round. Oh or man, the Ray in the Oh man, Ray. no, I'm not gonna get oh. overall merit. But I feel like right now, if you have Edwin Cooper standing oh, right there, in the face, there, I mean, you had Keon Coleman and Jalen Polk too. You know what I'm saying? So, See, but he, but here, right. but, but here's my thing when it comes to wide receiver, right? You got. CD Lamb, you gonna you have to pay that. regardless. Yeah. So that's gonna be the bulk of your, your your targets. You also have Brandon Cooks. You also have Jake Ferguson. So how much value are you gonna get this year from a wide receiver? 400, 500 yards. I, I think I, you know what the type of receiver matters because if it's Malachi, I think you can get a lot more this year because okay. of what you can do with him. That's so why I'm talking about right Malachi because you could use him like you can right. use him like Debo. Right, yeah. But defensive coach, this is this is what I'm going to tell you, man. There's some third round receivers. We might be. We got our fourth round pick. Right. Was Malachi you look, at, you look at our right. championship. You look at no. You look at the the Super Bowl, and you look at um the 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 NFC and the AFC championships. Linebacker play was at a premium. Not with you. Is Malachi I, I don't, gone? Your linebacker. I'm go, I'm, go, I'm going linebacker. If we go linebacker. Can you can we can we talk can we talk Malachi in the third if he there? You can. I mean, you, you can get wide yeah. receivers. Like I said, because now because now yeah. here's the, the yeah we got part. that four, we got that fourth now, now, that now, we have, yeah. now that we have that fourth now I have a huge safety blanket to land on. You okay, go go with Cooper then. Yeah. Okay. So let's see here. I go. All right, I'm going. You know, like, I mean, look, y'all acting like I'm gonna be sad if we ended up with Edric Cooper. Like, I don't draft, but where my draft? Yeah, yeah. We get we lead this draft with Power Johnson and Edric Cooper. You really should just be like, yo, it don't matter who else we get. Right. We're not getting seven starters, people. I'm, I'm just, like, Shoot, let me press the, two, let me press this two. button. Let me press this button. Okay, so now we sitting here at our running backs. You got Trey Benson sitting right there. You got Blake Corum. Ooh. You got Bucky Irvin. You got Devon Trez Walker, big physical wide receiver to be your ex guy. Um, Brendan Rice, Dominic Puny, Caleb Bullock. I mean, shoot. I mean, you could go get Trey Benson right now. So now you got your center, you got your linebacker, you got your run. I'm not let, look, man. You're trying to give me the wrong person. Trey. Get your weapon. You can- <laughs> Trey. Trey is both. Trey. Trey, Trey is both. I'm, Trey. I'm slamming a thing for Trey. Don't get Trey. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> hey, don't listen. Zimmer, don't listen to me, bro. Zimmer, I get... look, Zimmer is out of his mind in this draft. Hey, hey bro. No defensive play. Hey, don't, don't hey. listen to me. I just hey. got here. Hey, I'm done for the day, guys. Yeah, I'm, I'm bro. I'm done for the draft. Yeah, you can have fun, with them. I'm bro, good, bro. We, we pull, we pull this draft not, off, man. I'm gonna, I'm gonna be on Twitter. Man, I told y'all just be patient with the front about, office. I I'm told you. Is it for us to get these three players? You talking about life changing? We get Benson, Powers, and Cooper. I go to sleep. I don't know what right? We- yeah, I'm done. You know what I'm saying I'm logging off the live stream, bro. We good. You know what I'm saying? So we going with Trey Benson. I'm here. like, yo, you got five, six more picks. Why you got champagne out? Whatever. Right. <laughs> yeah, look. Tuck, yeah, Tuck, Tuck, Tuck will break down film in the morning. Let me know who we got. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> all right. So all right, we in the fourth round. So now. It gets a little fun, right? So now we got that that fourth round pick, and we're not falling off a cliff. So where are you guys thinking that we should go? Should we go defensive and wide receivers? You have Malik Washington, Corliss Johnson, Taj Washington, Darling Slot. Damn, they snatched. Where did they snatch my guy? I know sneaky ass. See, this is when this is when y'all drive expertise. See, I told you could get Braylon Allen early, later. Yeah, Braylon Allen, but he, he's not Trey Benson though. You know what I'm saying? Like, no, no, I'm but just saying. I've been Pat- watching him fall. I've been watching. That's what I've been saying when I'm doing my drafts. So, he's been falling. So, Ray I do know went. the Cowboys have some interest in uh, McKinley uh, from from Texas A&M. Uh, and M. He's the defensive think. defensive interior. I'm trying to think where the hell. Go get Luke McCaffrey. Stop playing. Luke McCaffrey. <laughs> I, I mean, I think Luke McCaffrey's going to be decent. I'm trying to look who the hell took Javon Baker. My my dude didn't shot up, didn't he? He was gone. Yeah, oh, he was. He, he, I told yeah, y'all he, he, he was, was gone before our nah, second pick. Bro. He went. No, nah, he, he went the third. He went the third round. Jalen Polk went. Uh, oh, Jalen Polk went in the third, and then Javon Baker went in the third. Okay. Sorry, Franklin. But, but 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 you got you got your you got your better guy. And right. Your, well, you, you right. 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 Yeah. yeah. I'm not, I'm not, not tripping. I'm not tripping at all. How y'all feel about Malik Washington? I don't know these dudes. Malik Washington is decent. I feel like he doesn't give us yeah. much of a boost. To be honest with you. Um. If you're looking at wide receiver and you're looking at the most explosive it's kind of weapon. Season. I'm letting you know right now. Nah, <laughs> y'all, y'all, y'all keep counting on my guy, Tober, man. You know what I'm saying? Tober, you know what I'm saying? Like, because Tober going to get Tober. What about Brooks? And I know he's a seventh rounder, but he, I, he, 
I think I think, right. I think I think I think I think Tober is going to be Tober's position to lose because which y'all know like y'all said earlier they protect you know what I'm saying um, you got Taj Washington who's more of a slot guy um, but he's explosive man. I like Taj Washington did a few interviews with my guys um, you also have Muhammad Kamara out of Colorado State if you want to get an edge um, I don't think they're going to go tight end. You know what I'm saying? I'm gonna, who I, are the Texans available though? That's the question because uh, they ben, did like they do like the Texas kid. Ben Sennett. He's uh, yeah, he's he's been gone. Yeah. Okay, uh, gotcha. Yeah, Ben Sennett. I know the Cowboys are big on McKinley Jackson, defensive interior. That's guy. what I was saying. McKinley, McKinley, McKinley Jackson. Jackson. So this Where would this would be a Cowboys pick out of Texas a and right? So I mean, he's a little undersized, but I mean he's he's vicious. Well, go to defensive interior in general. Yeah, we have we have to at this point because like we. Uh, at, at this point, we got to give Zim something, but we did give him a we did give him a backer. And let's keep this in mind too: we did draft Junior Fihoko last year, and I do think he could be a, a solid defensive player. Mm-hmm. I'm I think not sure if we go our, back to edge. Or our Fowler replacement. I think we should put him at edge personally. That's why yeah, I say edge. he about to be a Fowler replacement. Yeah, yeah, yeah. edge. I mean, because I mean, he's he's lunch spell. He's lunch. Ooh, lunch I bell. like Mason Smith. You got, I mean, you got Mason Smith. You could possibly wait and get Juwan Briggs or Big Jordan Jefferson. If you want, but he, these are these are more of your smaller three techs. You know, what I'm saying? I want the three tech now because I know you can get them, them heavy the nose, dudes later. right? You get the nose guys. Later. I think we need a three tech because they're gonna make Mozzie play. They're gonna make him play anyway. You gotta earn. They're gonna, they're gonna make him play. All right, so I'm going McKinney Jackson. Kelly Jackson. They said Jordan Travis, man. See, I, I would love to get. Jordan. Oh, here we go. <laughs> I would love to get Jordan Travis, man. But see, y'all think I'll protect Dak, man? I'll be overprotecting George. You know, I might have to swing on somebody. <laughs> <laughs> like, like, hell no, nah, bro. Um, so now we're looking at quarterback Austin Reed. James Williams, he would be a pick if Dan Quinn was still here because he has Dan Quinn. He's going to be a commander. Um, Dylan Johnson, we don't need a running back. We don't need Walter. Let's see here. Running backs. Corner. Corner. If we Corner's want, a need. Corner's kind of a need because we're not going to sign Ooh. Gilmore. Got uh Ryan Watts, he has the size, athleticism, um, that a lot of people are like. I'm not sure why he's sliding. Um, Edge, you got Solomon Bird. Hey, you better check them heights. You know we ain't at the day six two. See, but see, that's the thing. I don't know, I don't know if it's at the Dan Queen rule, but I think I think that's Zimmer rule too. You know what I'm saying? I don't, I don't know. So this is an interesting prospect, and I think I talked about him on my last live stream. Jalen Green. Jalen Green had a phenomenal season at James Madison. High motor guy. I think he had like like what 13 sacks something crazy uh, eight, 18 sacks he had 18 sacks but he got injured he got injured so he's a guy that can kind of be that still you know Jim before we go definitive corner can you bring up um interior o-line all right yeah let's go off interior off of the line all right so because in this scenario we bumped Tyler out I'm trying to see if there's any guards that might be worth picking up to, 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 to cover our bases? Um, only guards. You could go with, I mean, starting guards or just guys rotational. Guys. Somebody that might can compete with Bass. So it's not just a de- definitive Bass you to guard now. Uh, I'm just, I'm just wondering. I know yeah, who's on the board. Yeah, I'm. I mean, I, I like Tanner Bordellini. I like Tanner Bordellini because he has position plays. He's played left tackle, left guard, right guard, play center. Yeah, he's played yeah, might be. You can get him later, I look like. So we can wait a second. Yeah, so you can probably wait what for him. Tackle? What about tackle? Because the Cowboys have some mid-round tackles that they do like that like none of us would. But Mike McCarthy. Yeah, we got five picks left. We might Mike, Mike McCarthy really likes those like oh, like oh those Pittsburgh type guys that – Lunch pail type guy, like eighth and Driscoll out of Marshall. Uh, but see, here's my thing, right? When it comes to the Cowboys, with that, we got so many of those already in house that we haven't used. You know what I'm saying? Like, so this is the go. Matt Walesco, this is the Josh Ball. You got Awesome oh, Richards. Yeah. You got my guy Earl Bostic as an undrafted free agent from Kansas. Like you know what I'm saying? So you got a big cluster of left tackles you don't even use. Why get another projected left tackle? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So it's because that's what they do, bro. All right. It sounds uh, crazy. I know. No, I, know. Just, I, 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 yeah, they're they, they gonna get another one. You know what I'm saying? But it's like, bro, if you're gonna do, you know get saying? him undrafted. It's, it's kind of like you know what I'm saying. You know what I'm saying? saying? Like, get if you're gonna bring in more shoes, get rid of some other shoes, bro. Like, get rid of Josh Ball. Get rid of Matt. Yo, I don't know. Josh Ball got pitches on somebody. Right. He's be, be making cuts. You know what I'm saying? Taking that roster spot. So, 
if you're going to do that, I think um Andrew Coker. Now we can go back to um to corner. I just wanted to look. I think, yeah, I think Jane Slater had mentioned something about Andrew Coker out of TCU. Uh, corners. Um, so you got Ryan Watts, you got Johnny like Dixon. Watts. My favorite corner right here is Daquan Hardy out of Penn State, but he's an inside guy. Ain't he short? I'm not being funny. I think I looked at the other He's like five, five nine. Ten. But he's very Asante Sam. Like he he's like Asante Samuel at all these. You know what I'm saying? So I mean you could put him I'm inside. with you. I'm right, right, now, right now we're looking for a special team or backup to Jordan Lewis. Because we got Jordan Lewis for one year. And we lost Noah, uh, a big, whatever his last name is. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I forgot. Yeah, we even resigned him. You know what I'm saying? Uh, I mean, you could go with Jaheim Bell. Jaheim Bell is a versatile. You know what I'm saying? I'm, I already got, I already got, I'm going with Watts. One. That's my pick. Okay, so Ryan Watts. Because mm-hmm. I think, he, like, that'd be funny. I feel like he fits what they, they, they look for in a corner. Yeah. He's still developmental. He's not starting. Right. Yeah, someone to say like they're gonna go with Eric Scott. I don't know. I don't know, y'all. Yeah, I don't know what the hell happened with Eric Scott because at camp he was getting everything. Bro, he was get he was with the starters. You know what I'm saying? So that's why I was so high. Like, man, he can. You know what? I didn't think about that. You know what I'm saying? Maybe because they're gonna roll maybe, him back out. I about no, I was, I was about to say, what if Zimmer likes him more than Bland and pushes Bland back inside? Could be. Could be. I would know if he show up and 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 if if someone pays dividends from last year's draft, I'ma just be thankful. So yeah, <laughs> and that's what I'm saying. Cause like, bro, Aaron Eric Scott was out there at camp. He was bad. Like, so I thought you know what I'm saying, but then he was just like, abs- you know what I'm saying. So like, bro, he was really running with the ones. Like you know what I'm saying. I was like, so because he, he, he was getting because he, he was getting reps over boss man. You know yeah. what I'm saying. So I was just like, yeah. So um, look. I'm going to just keep this 100. We all say corners are sneaky need, but maybe they don't feel like that. Because if you look at their visits and you look at the people they've shown interest to, whether it be combine, right. like, yeah, I know people are saying the visits don't matter, but they do. They really you know do. what I'm saying? Like, right. maybe they feel like we drafted Eric Scott last well, year. Go ahead and pull a receiver have to back up then. <laughs> so receiver, we, can, we can get a receiver, right? Pull it back up and see if we can catch somebody slipping. So, I mean, you could go with Jordan Winnington out of Texas. Right, so he's the unforgotten Texas wide receiver, and he's explosive as well. Had a few injuries, but he could be a guy that's kind of rotational. Would I get yeah, him? We're, but I think this is way too early for him. It's too early. Yeah. Um, let's see here. You could go Anthony Gold. Yeah. I mean, honestly, out of these wide receivers, I, mean, I just didn't. I wanted to see who was there. Yeah, I, I just obviously I would chill. So we might look. It, everybody go. You know what? This is if we end up drafting like this and don't end up getting like nobody definitive. That's when you're gonna hear stories of yo. Will, will Dallas take on Michael Thomas for a cheap contract? Oh yeah, those, those, those extra do. cuts, right? So for me personally, if it's me, put it on my Will McClay hat. I'm gonna go get your interior guy and in Jordan Jefferson to rotate yeah. with Mozzie since we lost Hankins. What about that dude? Um, interior wise, what's his name from um? Evan Anderson, yeah, big Evan Anderson. He's just big for nothing, you know what I'm saying? Like, he's decent, <laughs> I was like, 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 but, but, but that's the thing, bro. Like, Evan Anderson, you could probably get him a little bit later, though. I've seen him moving up boards like ever since I opened my big mouth, but like, he's just big, you know what I'm saying? He ain't got much. I hate athletic. to say it, don't we need a, a new Hank? Yeah, <laughs> but, but that could be Jordan Jefferson. I said Jordan Jefferson's a better prospect than he Evan Anderson, too? you know what I'm saying? Huh? What do you like? Three, what? Jordan Jefferson, he weighed in at three seventeen. But good. yeah, That's but good. but he has he has a more of a motor um, than like like Mazi. You know what I'm saying? So I'll take it. I would go with Jordan Jefferson. You know what I'm saying? You get some guy that can get in the backfield. You know, kind of get your defensive interior revved up because we got some holes there. So he can play three tech, but also if we play get one Jefferson as well. Jefferson and Watts still on oh. the next pick. I would, I would go get Watts. Cool. Let's go get Jordan Jefferson. Oh. Yeah, I think that's a good – because also, too, we got to look at it this way. Do you want to get a one-tech this late, or do you want to get a one-tech in free agency for the cheap? Yeah. Which they'll probably do. Yeah. So, I'm talking about after post-June. Post-June. I that's what they're going to do. That's what they're going to do. Um. So, now we're looking at Ethan Driscoll. That's the tackle out of Marshall, if you want to do that. Tyron Harper. I know the Cowboys have been interested in him as well. Uh, Jason right. McKellen. Hopper more of an edge to you? Yeah. To uh, yeah. I mean, oh, you do you mean like hand in the dirt? I I think he's kind of like Fowler. You know what I'm saying? He's kind of your your hybrid. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Um, 
We got Jay sitting there running back, but I think we're good on running back. We don't need to go right now. We got Tanner Bordellini, Jonathan Dixon corner, Andrew Corker. I think I'll take Bordellini now. Yeah, it'd be moving the interior. Daquan Hard. Yeah, because if he, if he, like I said, I don't want. They like him. I, I want Bass to have. So they to like work. him? Have they talked to Tanner? Uh, yeah, I, I, I believe so. Let me let me take a look real fast. I'm pretty yeah. sure he, he. I want he all talked, the players he have to talk to him at the combine, but it might have been like informal. Informal. Or like okay. That. Informal. Yeah, I like I like Tanner. So like I said, this is God that you can kind of get and just have some versatility. You know what I'm saying? If we got Powers Johnson and then Borderline and Bass battle it out, and we got Tyler Smith. I think the line is set. Right, right, right. Yep. Yeah, he got good, but or you can also get Andrew out of TCU. I think James Slater is saying that they because were there at TCU's pro day. Oh yeah, because the Big Twelve Probably. pro day was in Dallas. You know what I'm saying? So did. yeah, um, Daquan Hardy. You could get your wide receiver and Jordan Winnington. That would probably be the only wide receiver I would pull the trigger on. Uh, but for me, I would probably go – I would go with Tanner Bordellini here. With you. And then – Did Wallace like, go? Huh? No, I'm linebacker. No, that's what I'm saying. I was like, and I feel like you could come back and get Trevor and Wallace in the next – Trevor Wallace, I would say, I would pretty much slam money right now in Vegas that he's going to be a Dallas Cowboy. Why is he going so low? Is he going to go low in real life or is he going to go like – I've heard people say we should go get him in a second. I was like, that's a little high. He 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 is going to be one of those players that's going to jump around. He is just instant IQ. You know what I'm saying? Like he doesn't have the IQ. Like he just plays off of his instant. He just he's all over if the place. We got you know Cooper. If we get Cooper and Wallace, I am going to sleep. I'm good. Yeah. <laughs> Let me yeah. tell you something too. We get Cooper, Cooper and um, Overshone. That's going to be right. Like, for a that, long that's ass. We're going to get two linebackers right there. Yeah. They gonna, I, that's that takes our linebacker core to a whole different level, bro. Um, so yeah, so Trevor Wallace is there. You can probably maybe wait. Uh, I think you wait. I've always I've get him in the last two picks every time. Yeah, you can probably hey, look, wait. Me personally, and I'm gonna tell y'all this: who who, who we, we we end up getting Trey, but a guy that that jumped like late, where he ended up being a thirty visit. And then pro day, it, Jace McClellan is yes. sitting right there. As well, you right. know what I'm saying? Which that caught me off guard. Him being the 30 visit, right. y'all showed me that this morning. I said, "Oh, yeah. I didn't know they was on him like that." Are right. we, are we bad to double dip at running back? I don't think so. I mean, look at our running back room. We better double dip. We get Jace. Or we get Trey Benson and McClellan. I think we. Hey, <laughs> yeah, like my guy just says, like, yeah, he says Trevor Wallace makes a lot of mistakes, but he's like, I, I was gonna break down his film the other day. And I was just like, bro, this this is sloppy, <laughs> saying, but he's all over the place, you know what I'm saying? So like, it's just so he like just high, he just hype high motor, and yeah, he just he's just motor, you know what I'm saying? But you don't slip off a tackle, you know what I'm saying? But so he wouldn't be starting though. That's what I'm saying. He he's a guy that could probably be like um special teamer, yeah, Qu- yeah, Quan, uh Jordan McGee is another linebacker. They 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 pretty much can circle as well. So for me personally, I would probably either lean towards Jordan Winnington, just a wide receiver out there. You can go with Andrew Coker out of TCU or tackle. Um, or I mean, I love I love Isaiah Davis at running back if I was going to double dip, but I would wait. What about corner? Corner's dead. Nah, corner ain't dead. Let's see the corner. Let's see the see corner. Ah, yes, dead. <laughs> Never mind. I it was a lie. Hey, look. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Aaron Scott Jr. is you up? <laughs> yeah, well, here, well, here's the thing, right? We're talking about special teams guys, but hell, they ain't got rid of special teams. You know what I'm saying? Because, bro, it's going to be so many damn kick returns. This, you know what I'm saying? People going to get cooked, you know, standing toe to toe. Like, bro, I'm, I'm going with. Yeah, one of the best. Huh? If yeah, you know, yeah. Got one of the best. Yeah, Turpin, Turpin should go crazy. Turpin should go and crazy. The tackle, is the tackle going to bump a dogo off this roster before the season starts? No, nah, they like Chino, bro. They like Chino. So, so don't even get the tackle because he a waste. Get somebody that might actually be able to help us. He's good, so get with with um I get mean, the, get the he, receiver. He gives he position flex, plays left tackle and right tackle as well. Ooh, Coker. Yeah. yeah. Oh, he played both. Yeah, he played both sides. Um, yeah. So yeah, four hundred snaps at left tackle, three twenty seven at right tackle, for? right tackle. So he played predominantly right tackle. Um. So let's see here, six seven three fifteen. So he has the size. Um, yeah, Rashid Ali. They they think he's a thirty visit as well. But I, I wouldn't go running back. Um, I go I go running back last pick every time. Yeah. So me personally, I would either go with Andrew 
I wouldn't go Jalen Ford. Um, it's, either, it's, it's, it's the tackle or the receiver. Yeah, or Jordan Whittington. We haven't well, gone receiver we yet. Got so I, I go receiver. They'll probably, they'll probably say, here you go, Dak. Here right, you there go. You go. Right. Here you get your, get your receiver. You're, you're, make there it you go. <laughs> yeah, there you here go. you go. I said, all right, cool. <laughs> so, all right, cool, cool, cool. Let me see if there's anybody else here before we pull the trigger. So there's Trevin Wallace. There's Evan Anderson. So you got my you guy, Kenny Wallace Logan. I bet you. My guy, Kenny Logan from Kansas. Versatile safety. All right. So we're going to go wide receiver. Mm-hmm. Jordan Winnington. Foot somewhere punching the wall. Y'all want receiver. <laughs> but we got we got a playmaker in Trey Benson. And then Trevin Wallace, yeah. I would say we probably get Trevin but, Wallace but, right here. Butch wouldn't be mad at Trey Benson. That's his number one. Yeah, yeah. That's his number one. Bro, if he, if I'm he, telling you we're going to be in the old man receiver market. Watch. We are. That Mar- makes, that no, makes, we got, we got no, Martavis this, Bryant. Bro. <laughs> It's gonna be that look. It's gonna be like over. Michael. Look, and that's gonna be the. All right, y'all, shut up, y'all. We've been bad all year. Here go Michael Thomas. Yeah, bro. He ain't about to give Dak no weapon at receiver, right? Like no disrespect. He ain't about to do that, bro. And to be honest with you, though, I think a run game helps him a little better. Right. It helps, I think way it helps him a little bit. I'm, yeah, way I'm, more. I would go with Trevin Wallace here. I think he's gonna be a Dallas Cowboy just off his pure athleticism. Hey, DMV. <laughs> We win two more games with a real running game. True. True. Uh, we so, win someone said we could game. bring Michael Gallup back on a cheaper deal. <laughs> hey, look, we probably win that first Philly game with a real running game. We wouldn't have threw that ball to um to um uh, schoolmaker. Right. Right. We would have ran it. Yeah, people forget, though. We could not score from the one yard line. We had to at throw all. a lot of corner routes and stuff. To but score it, down but if you look at this chart and look at what Ezekiel Elliott did when he was in New England and he <laughs> picked the colors and then like, exactly. shut up, bro. Go, hey, hey, I was trying to tell people, you know, because you know how much I want Zeke back and everybody been killing me about it. Power yeah. average four points in yards and short yards. <laughs> yeah, if you look at the charts and the short yards <laughs> average, and like, shut up, bro. Like, just watch the damn game and realize if Zeke is on the one-yard line, he's not getting tackled by a corner. Like, it's really that simple. You know what I'm saying? You don't have to make football more complicated than it really needs to be. And, and the Detroit game don't even happen because we sought the game away. Right. They don't even get the oh, ball yeah. back. Yeah, there was, there was nobody to get us up out of there with that in that game. That so, deep pass down the right side, that don't make it because we, we sought the, the clock away. Right. Right, so here, this is Rasheed Nali out of Marshall. They're kind of high on oh, him. Oh, yeah. Uh, Tyler yeah. Owens is a good safety. Kenny Logan's a real Wallace? good safety. Yeah, we got Wallace. I, I, okay, I, okay, I, okay. I just clicked the button on him because I was like, yeah. No, no, yeah. I, was, I was about to get mad. Like, we didn't get Wallace. Uh, yeah, and then um, let's see here. You got my guy, Blake Watson, who's sitting here as well. Your Tony Pollard replacement. Cedric like Johnson, a big, heavy ed setter, also with Trajan Jeffcoat. Um, you Dolphin. Oh, I hate, yeah. You Dolphin. He's a nickname. Um, just also think about some of these guys as left too. They might not. They might not get them because they want to sign them and offer them like guys. twenty thousand dollars and stuff. Right. Now nah, they get you know, funny though. DMV, they be paying in the, in the little. They'll they'll give somebody two hundred. Oh yeah, they'll, yeah, they'll, they'll pay extra. Yeah, yeah, because that's how they got Marquise Bell. Like they paid him a little extra, and also Hunter Lukey. They yeah. put a little extra in the bag. They, they get competitive yeah. hell in undrafted free agency. You I know, get so, competitive in the. I nah, mean, you know what I'm saying? Like, like not. They treat the undrafted free agents better than our seven round, yeah. six round pick. Bro. Going in Dollar Tree with two hundred, like yeah, I'm right, yeah, ball. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Yeah, keep the Dollar keep the change. Got all the snacks. All hey, the snacks. Keep the change, man. It actually, don't sound like a bad idea hitting at the Dollar Tree. So, what y'all thinking, man? I'll let y'all pull the trigger on this last one. I like Watson because of what I heard. I'm gonna be completely honest. From what I when you, when you said he was like um yeah he's Tony a replacement Pollard. for uh, Tony Pollard, and I yeah. looked into him for what I've seen. You know, what I'm saying I know they like um Rasheen uh, Rasheen Ali, right? Um, as well, but I really I don't know too much about him outside of that he's on the forty visit list or thirty visit list. That's it. If I, I have, he, he also he also was at the Senior Bowl as well. Yeah. So they had an opportunity. Look, they brought him in for a thirty visit after you know seeing them at the Senior Bowl. So they, there's some interest there. Then he might he might get because do we have any interest in Watson? No, nah, that's all me. That's all me. I'm gonna yep. drop. So his, I would I would drop like, his film tomorrow. For the interest of how we know how the Cowboys do, go ahead and pull the trigger on Ali because we know how they get down. So double dip at running back. The Thirty visit because I would have said double dip at linebacker, but we already did. Yeah, we did. Man, uh, yeah. yeah. And, and also keep in mind if they if they wouldn't get another linebacker, like I would draft three. I don't care, but they'll just try and 
throw him now, the bag. Tuck, after. If we get if we get bag. Ali, we 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 we, we killing our Zeke dream. Because well, go- the thing about this, <laughs> right? But you well, think about we we resign we resign we resign Rico. They're technically counting Hunter. They they're going to force Deuce whether you want to. We just got yeah, Trey Benson. Long, I'll bump so Hunter or Deuce can go. I'll bring Zeke so, back so that's home. that's four. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, I feel you, bro. Look, 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 look. I'm all about pushing pushing guys off the roster. Hunter or Deuce can go. We got our asses handed to us last year. They're, 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 they aren't pushing Deuce off this roster, bro. That story is Hunter insane. can go? I know, I, You're not putting Hunter off. He, he, he an undrafted guy was a starter. So Hunter, Hunter and Deuce is locked. Hunter Rico. is the best running back we got right now. Let's keep it a buck. <laughs> I mean, he the I, best running back yeah. we got. I mean, that was Mike McCarthy. You know what I'm saying? That was Mike yeah, McCarthy. Yeah, Mike would not pull the trigger. Yeah. Hunter if, the if, best if, if Zeke's standing at the door and I can get somebody that's a definitive on the on the, on the, on the, on the goal line, one of them can go because I saw Hunter on the goal line. He put it on the no. goal. Look, that was that, you have that like, was, look, was, do so, so make practice squad. So we cut him. Nobody else is getting him. Let's just keep it one hundred. Nah, somebody, somebody get Rico, Deuce. we didn't cut him a million times, and he still came back. Nah, somebody would swipe. Squad. Somebody would swipe Deuce, bro. They would swipe. Deuce. They look, they look, they use him right and piss me off. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Them. Deuce, Deuce will get swiped if he. Yeah, they'll 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 play a game with Malik Davis. You know what I'm saying? They'll they'll cut Malik Davis every. I don't know week. why they don't cut Josh Ball. He will be on the block. He got them photos. <laughs> Nobody man. is stupid. He got them them. photos, man. I. I can, I can, I would bet money that Deuce Vaughn is on this roster. That story is way too Dallas Cowboys. I, I feel you. I feel you. you. Can't hand the ball to a story. Here, here's I what I'm saying. Talking. I mean, but you know how they do. They know how they do. we always do that though. We like, oh, this person, this person, uh, ain't gonna make it, and then they like right there. Nah, right. nah, Deuce is on this right. roster, bro. Yeah, He's right. guaranteed. But we said that about Isaiah Land; his ass is gone. So yeah, yeah. that wasn't no, that wasn't that wasn't no cute story. You know what I'm saying? That wasn't no cute story. No, I but mean, you're right, man. I, 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 I feel you. I feel you. Let's go, Rashid Ali. How Land looked from last year? I asked you on the group chat. This yeah, let's go, Rashid Ali. I'm gonna see people in the chat saying. My no, no, guy, my that's see, that's, that's, that's my pick. guy, Travis. Man, he's saying Kenny Logan. Man, I'm I'm about to get my guy Kenny Logan. I'm gonna, I'm gonna hit him up today. See if I can get him on the show, man, because. I know we got plenty of safeties, man, but I, I like Kenny Logan, man. I also like Tyler Owens as well. So we go to Rasheen Ali, get up out of here because I got to eat, man. I'm cramping up. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, Tucker, Tucker here play injured. Yeah, bro, I'm cramping up, man. Hey, I got the. Hey, this. I had a football coach tell me if you're cramping up, if if your it's too dark and it's bubbling, you ain't a good teammate, bro. You ain't being a good teammate right now. Nah, you got to be hydrated. Yeah, I'm, 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 I'm not. I'm not hydrated at all, bro. You know what I'm saying? Because like I said, training, watching boxing, man. I've been getting back in the ring. I'm cramping it's, up, man. So, all right, bro. So here's the draft. We it's on um on the um on the um. On the timeline. Yeah, let me download. Uh, yeah, let me get that downloaded. That's right. not bad. B plus, man. Everybody, everybody better leave me alone. Yeah, so we traded back with the Bills. We got three picks. Jackson Powers got our center. We good there. Adrian Cooper, game record, linebacker. We good there. Trey Benson, running back. Best in the draft, hey, I would say. Care of, um, good old Zim. We good there. Uh, Kenley Jackson. Good. Extremely uh, high upside uh, defensive interior guy. Also got Jordan Jefferson, versatile guy. Tanner Borner leading can play a little center, can play a little guard. Got your flexibility there. Jordan Whittington got your kind of the under the radar wide receiver that can play over the field and versatile. Trevin Wallace, huge upside potential, extremely athletic. And then got Rasheen Ali, yep. another running back just in case you need a case of emergency. I like this draft, y'all. I we like got these draft. trenches together. I don't care. Nobody say. Yeah, I like this draft. I like this. I'm a little bit. I'm. I'm a little bit. I'm excited now. For <laughs> Give the me a little excited for, excited for 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 what I need to. Yeah, for what I need, bro. I'm excited for the season, man. So let, we, before before we slide out of here, let's just be honest. Let's say because they they don't they not as smart as us. <laughs> I don't right. care what nobody say. Right. If we left this draft with the top three, we're good. And and they just kind of messed up the rest of it. I'm still happy. Right. Right. Yeah. I'm yeah. still good. I'm still good. Yeah. They can go draft Luke uh, Seahawk or whatever out of we know for North fact, Dakota State or something. Interior. After those top three, they're going to get defensive interior because you got to replace Neville. You got to replace Neville. You got to replace Hankins. Like you got, you know, what I'm saying you need you need bodies. You know, what I'm saying, and that's yeah. what a lot of Cowboys fans don't understand. It's not just about stars; it's about depth. So when people say, "Oh, we don't need Zeke," all right, well, what happens if Rico goes down? Because last year was the first healthy season of Rico. Then what? Then you're going to see. You know, what I'm saying. So it's like, bro, like stop thinking. Like you need depth. And what happens is when our front wall of talent goes down in Dallas, that's when things get dark. You know what I'm saying? I love this draft too. 
because I love the fact that it 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 takes the pressure off Kendricks. You got to be an All Pro, right? You know, you older, and that's fine. And it takes the pressure off Overshone, right? Overshone, yeah. you because I love the way he put on and stuff like that. But you don't got to rush back, right? Come back right, and we'll have a healthy linebacker core going forward, right? So that's why I would love to double dip at linebacker, no question. Because what people forget about Overshone, I think a lot of Cowboys fans didn't know this. And maybe it's my fault, right? But it's like people forget at Texas, he was a safety. So he's going to be our quote unquote Marquise Bell. Like he played safety at Texas and was converted to linebacker. You know what I'm saying? So he was that he was that real hybrid, the real one, not the fake one that Dan Quinn tried to create in the lab. What are we going to do with Bell though? Is it it a wrap because Quinn left? I I mean, I don't know. I think this goes back to safety. Hey, hey, Bell said, hey, whoever gets gets set, that's (laughs) what Bell, I'm moving back. Whoever gets set. Yeah, yeah. I mean, Bell's a dog. He's going to compete. You know what I'm saying? And he's shown his upside because Bell's not a guy you can cut on waivers and get him back. So it's like, you're going to have to find a position use, for him. Um, Overshown, like, you know, like when we first got him before the injury, he was heat seeking missile. He had some pass rush in him in a little bit. You think we're going to have him up there playing like yeah. that? Like, not, not playing edge or nothing like that, but just like using him on blitzes and stuff like that? Yeah, he's best coming forward. You know what I'm saying? He's best coming forward. So. You know, that's the thing, like you said, Rome. I want to not rush over Sean back. I know he's excited. Oh, like, no, I, I would love it. You know, Cowboys always try to do that. So it's like, nah, bro, like, let him kind of sit back. And then you have Kendricks, you have Damone Clark, you can still rep. Then you have Edron Cooper. Yeah, that's kind of good core. Hey. Then you can toss an over Sean when he gets fully healthy and he'll hey. be revved up. And guess what we're not talking about, though? This is the crazy thing about it. We ain't talking about Micah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You know what I'm saying? We ain't talking about Micah moving back. Right. Which is crazy because then Micah becomes the ultimate chess piece once again. Right. Which you know what I'm saying and linebacker got so Micah murky. Drive like that, but Micah Micah will play linebacker as long as he getting his check like a DN. Right. I'll play linebacker, just give my DN check. I'll right. play whatever. Yeah. Right. <laughs> but now we don't have to we don't have to feel we don't have to feel like oh we gotta pay him here at linebacker. Right. Oh, we, we playing him at edge too much. Like now right. I feel comfortable. Said, yo, we, we just want you to play everywhere. We're going to pay you at the top of the market. We just need you to play everywhere. That's a smart team with it did. Right. Instead, we're going to try to pay him like a linebacker, and we're going to get a holdout. Right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Man, it's going to get dark. It's going to get dark. With it's going to get dark with that holdout because he's going to get right on that podcast. Right. He's going to get right but on with that the podcast. Draft did, if he does out, I think this defense could survive Without with how it. we just drafted. You know what right. I'm saying? That. Micah gonna get on that podcast and say, "Come get me, Philly!" <laughs> right, right. <laughs> he, 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 gonna, he gonna be. I want to come home at a Sixers game in an Eagles jersey. You know what I'm saying? Like, and we gonna be, we gonna be sick. <laughs> yeah, hell no, nah, bro. We gonna troll the hell of us, man. But yo, my guys, man, appreciate y'all for coming on, man. We gonna have to do this again, man. It's a group chat. You know what I'm saying we ain't got no name for our show yet. We group might as well just call the group chat, man. Let's draw the group chat for an hour and forty minutes. Yeah, group chat. Yeah. Man. Hey, y'all hey, y'all hey, see we should, how we, we go? Let the fans pick. We should let the fans out there pick. Like, just throw some names out there to us in the comment section, and then we'll pick the best one. Right. Or we have y'all voters. Well, here's like how that. crazy it is, man. We just be talking. I forgot that we even have people watching on the live. <laughs> <laughs> like, oh yeah, yeah, we still live. You know what I'm saying? Hey, yo, man, yeah. y'all not y'all not done on my fault. Yeah, oh yeah. <laughs> Ah, uh, yeah, man. But should we appreciate y'all, man? DMV, I'm gonna start with you, bro. For everyone wanting to find you, where can they find you, my guy? Y'all can find me on YouTube, DMV Fanatic. On uh, Twitter, you can find me at DMV Fanatic One, and on Instagram, Real DMV Fanatic. There's a lot of fake DMV fanatics out there. They from the DMV, but they right. ain't the DMV Fanatic. Right. But I appreciate y'all. Yeah, my guy, Ro, man. Where everybody can find you, bro? Hey, man. Um, Cowboys underscore Fan Talk on Twitter, where I argue with crazy people. Um, <laughs> Cowboys fan talk on YouTube where we talk sanely and have some sense about ourselves and then Cowboys fan talk on Instagram where I made a post for the first time in like two years yeah. and I think I need to keep doing that <laughs> yeah I'm, I'm try- Instagram is rough bro I'm I stuck trying- over there real quick you saw me <laughs> yeah like man Instagram is rough bro so yeah man, I'm trying yeah, I'm stuck I'm right trying back to I, I left I said oh that's not that's not my spot that's not my spot right, yeah. cool. that's what they drive bro like yeah. You don't belong. <laughs> right. they're, they're the club, the ghetto, back to the ghetto, you go. Right. From the churches. Back, the yeah, church. yeah. Get, get back to Twitter. You know what I'm saying? You sewer rat. Like, that's how you do it. Twitch on you or Twitter. You yeah, bro, Twitch. yeah, man. You'll say you Twitter, man. You can't be walking out at night by yourself, man. You got to say, who, who you with, man? Like, oh, I know Tuck, man. Okay, bro. You good, man. Make sure you're the right side of the street. Um, but yeah, man, y'all can find me on all social media platforms at JTuck151. That's Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok. Salute to everybody out there. YouTube channel, CFO Sports. 
but I'm actually going to be starting a new channel this weekend and it's probably going to be, I don't know, I haven't named it yet, but I'm going to name it, man. But over there, I'm going to be talking to everything, man. So it's not going to be just cowboy stuff. So I'm going to have boxers on, you know, rappers, entertainers, all sorts of stuff. So we're building something new over there. Um, brand new channel. Definitely everybody know, man. But appreciate everyone for rocking with us, man. We're doing this for y'all, Cowboys Nation. I know it's bad times right now. It's damn near embarrassing. But at the end of the day, we all we got, man. We're going to continue to rock for each other. And we're going to find it out, man. At the end of the day, we got that dude back there in Rome, you know what I'm saying, shirt. Dak, you know what I'm saying? At least Dak going to hold it up. You know what I'm saying? Dak's always called Dak the Instagram filter. Even when things get ugly, just put Dak on it. He's going to make it all right. You know what I'm saying? Put Dak he gonna, on it. You know what I'm saying? He's, 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 he's sprinkle some Dak on it, and we're going to hey, be man. optimistic, man. So I appreciate it. Hey, hey, look. We got Chuma. Right, see, bro. See, man. See, see, now. We <laughs> out, bro. We out of damn yeah. Chuma, bro, man. Yo, appreciate y'all, Cowboys Nation. We'll do this again. Next, let's just do it again next week, man. You might as well do it as we gear for the draft, man. You know what I'm saying?